Dude, I am so nervous. All right, they're resetting. All right, they are good to go. Okay, here comes the countdown. Three, two, one, go! All right. So here we go. They're gonna have a slight delay from, from Discord, but they should be fine. Okay, we have the double audios. We're gonna use Teeks' audio because it is better. Okay, so the first thing that they're gonna do is they're gonna get the mushroom in world one. Okay, now the point to keep your fire flower from world one all the way to world six only applies, only applies until you've grabbed your first fire flower. So if either runner takes damage right now, that's okay. It's their first fire flower. So as you can see, Haxer had a little bit of the world one, level one Soros, which you saw me do at GDQ. Level one sucks. However, the time advantage that Teeks has from that actually isn't that big of a deal. Haxer knows right now that that's not tilting. He's fine. Like, he could die right now and still win this race, and it has nothing to do with time, okay? The whole point of this tournament is to get rid of the world's best runners beating everyone all the time, because it's based on time, and add in points and runners' abilities to do strategic tricks to win, so that it's- so that you never know who's gonna win. Wow, dude! Teek's doing the orb jump, Hax is gonna opt out of the orb jump, you do not want to take damage there, because you'd have to run back and uh, they both are getting the fast fly. This is incredible. I can't believe Teeks did that orb jump. That is very, very difficult on his one side. So here we go. Here comes the first point. Here comes the first point for them. The tunnel. Teeks is going to go first. So we're going to watch Teeks. And he's got to get the MFP tunnel. And then it's Haxer next. So point five right here. This could do a big turn in the race. Does Teeks get it? Oh, Teeks does not get it. Does Haxer get it though? Oh, <laughs> neither of them get the tunnel. So neither of them are awarded the point for getting that tunnel. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. You want to get that tunnel right off the start because it gives you a huge boost of points right at the start. Oh, Teeks with the bad RNG. He's going to get a questionable pattern with the boss where Haxer is going to get the comfortable pattern with the boss. Woo, baby. First world and it's already going crazy right now. Already going crazy. Hax is going to get the fast piece speed in 1-6. Almost dies there with the side jump. Very close, man. You do not want to die. Um, I would rather do an extra minute of slowness than dying in this because that's a 1.5 point swing if you die. So Hax is not going to get the early fire flower, so he, he's going to be alright. Whereas Teeks is going to show that he's in the lead with time, but again, not going to be the huge thing. Alright, now that we are on the auto-scroller, neither runner wants to use an inventory star. So we are already going to award them the point five. They're not going to use them. Nobody's used them all tournament. And neither of them have died yet. So they start off with a solid 1.5 points. Now we are on the airship. So this is where it gets really crazy because they are going to be getting their first fire flower on this airship right now. It has to be from world one. So if a runner took damage right now and then they didn't get their fire flower, they will never be able to get that point because the next fire flower that they can get is actually World 2 Airship. That's so far. All right, here we go. So they both know how to do their fire kill, but if you watch very closely, Haxer and Teeks are going to get different fire kills. Uh, Teeks is going to shoot kind of low, where Haxer's is going to shoot high. The little Cheerios. Let's take a look. So he shot a little low for Teeks. Oh, Teeks almost took damage. Oh my gosh, okay, so they're both in the clear right now. They both have a Fire Flower first card, Haxer 12 coins, Teeks 10, which are going to play a very big role towards coin ships. Hopefully they pay attention. If you pay attention, you will not have to worry about getting coin ships. You lose points simply for activating coin ships, not even doing them. Just activating the coin ship, you lose your points. All right, so neither of them got the tunnel. Next point is a 292 in 2-2. Two -two. So don't worry, I'll hold your guys' hands along with the timer and the level. But first, we got to get through 2-1, and then their next point that they can get is in 2-2. So this is incredible right here. All right, so they do the, the wall rub to keep their PCB. It's like priming it up right there. It's like, boom. Hit the wall, prime it up. They do their side hits. Very casual 2-1 uh, for both of them, which is actually the most impressive way. 2-1 is, is a very easy level, looking good. Oh, Teeks with the two flowers. If he gets the fanfare... Oh, Haxer with the two flowers! Are we gonna see a fanfare? Nobody expects a fanfare right now. Alright, Teeks in 2-2. Two -two. He needs a 292 in the pipe. Let's look at his timer. He's got a 298, 297. Oh crap, 296, 295. 
Oh, he did a turn back. Haxer, 295, 294, 293. Ah, oh, neither of them get the point. Too bad, man. Nice try. So the way that works is you want to get a lot of speed off of the hill. And then you want to do very fast jumps to not run on the ground and slow down. And that should open up the doorway for a 292. Hacks are getting really good RNG in World 2 right here, but I think he's going to opt for getting the music box in World 2 to use it later somewhere in the run. Normally in a warpless run, you don't want to use the music box from World 2. It's just a big time waste. But in this tournament set, uh, setting, getting that music box allows you to skip certain things that you don't want to do and actually make the run a little bit easier. So, um, And there's no punishment for it. Again, Again, somebody who gets a 55-minute run and somebody who gets a 54-30, they get they awarded the same amount of points. Remember, it's about time, but at the same time, it's not about time. We we are about the points, which neither runner has got yet. So these guys better ramp it up. Let's go. Come on, boys. So his hacks are gonna get the music box. He is gonna get the music box. So that's kind of like his patented uh, little strategy that he likes to use here. Um, using that strategy, I think, is actually a pretty good. I, I feel like if I was in this tournament, which I was not in this tournament, uh, because I created it, um, but if I was in this tournament, I think I would use a lot of those little tiny things that you don't use in the actual speedrun, uh, to get it. Uh, looks like both of them make a good work. Haxer with a little slip-up at the beginning of this level, which is fine. Uh, oh! Teeks with the, uh, little mini uh, movement of four. Which is going to kind of cluster him up there. He doesn't know which Hammer Brother he wants. But I think Teeks is actually also going to go for um, both Hammer Brothers in this world. It is a very good idea. It's safe. And uh, it makes it comfortable. Haxer. Um, Haxer in a weird spot. He doesn't know just yet if he should go for level 4 or level 5. If the Hammer Brother moves up past the Pyramid, he goes for level 4. If the Hammer Brother moves left, he goes for level 5. Teeks with another movement of four. You hate to see it. That's like three to four seconds time loss with both of his movements of four. You, he loses three seconds if he would have got movements of one. So very annoying there for him. So it looks like he is actually going to have to go down. Haxer is guaranteed to go down. And look at this, man. Look at the time sink. That is how much the Hammer Brothers have screwed him over, man. This is incredible. All right, they both make a very good work of 2-5. 2-5 is the slower level. You do actually want to do 2-4 and then wrap back down to do the pyramid, but the Hammer Brothers control where you go, and the Hammer Brothers are random. All right, Teeks with a good RNG. Haxer with a good RNG as well. Look at them both. Haxer's bro move backwards. Look at this. <laughs> wow. So you guys just actually got to see the difference between a Hammer Brother moving forward and, and moving backwards at that time there. So look at them. Wow, this is very close, man. This is very close. Inc absolutely incredible right now. They're both going to do the grab shell. The pyramid is very annoying in uh, in runs because it's very physically demanding. A lot of D-pad work. Yeah, work the D-pad, boys. Work the D-pad. Um, yeah, a lot of D-pad work, but they both make very good work. Hacks or strategies a little bit faster and cleaner. Allows them to actually take that lead. Look at that. Wow, dude. Wow, that is incredible. Hacks are taking the lead in time. And being as there's no points difference, he just took the lead. Boom. Both runners doing amazing right now. Absolutely amazing right now. Absolutely incredible. So they're both on the airship. However, there is a point awarded for fighting this boss. If you get a 221 on your timer versus this boss, you do get points. All right. How's everyone doing right now? I hope you guys are having a good time. Hope you guys are enjoying this tournament format. Um, let me take this opportunity to explain to everyone uh, why I created this uh, format. And the w number one reason is, is I find it very enticing for me, myself, Mitch Flower Power, to get involved with new speed games and compete in them when I know that the world's best, who has the world record, who runs every day all the time, I'll never beat them in a race. Um, even if RNG were, like, if I wanted to get involved with Super Metroid, it would take me years to become one of the top runners, right? So I don't want to get involved. However, with this tournament setting, is that it doesn't matter your PBs or uh, how amazing you are because you're trying to get different points. And some points are random, some points are strategic. It all, it all goes. So hold on, let's see the time here. What do they both get? 221? 221! They both get the point! Look at that! Boom! They both got 221 on their in-game timer. 
on their timer. Absolutely incredible. So they are both awarded 0.5 right there. Haxer, boom. Teeks, boom. Now, we don't have time to get into any crazy details right now because there's another point that these runners can get in the first level in World 3. If they do a frame-perfect jump before they enter the water, they are awarded a point. So this is all skill, ladies and gentlemen. 1 60th of a second input, which is pretty easy for uh, some top-tier runners. So let's... We're gonna watch Haxer first. If he jumps before he falls in the water, he gets a point. My finger's on the trigger right here. Does he get it? He doesn't get it! Teeks doesn't get it either! You hate to see it! That was a chance for one runner to take the lead over the other runner. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. But there's a couple other points in World 3. They got Door 3 and they got the Wendy. But as it looks right now, neither of them are gonna go for the Wendy point. If, if, they haven't taken any damage yet. They still have the same Fire Flower, which means they can get the uh, the award in World 6. It's very important. <sighs> Alright, here's one of the hardest levels in the World 2, guys. Oh, man, this is scary. Oh, Haxer with bad RNG. Teeks with good. Get the P-Speed. Come on, boys. Haxer with a fast P-Speed. Teeks with a fast P-Speed. Let's go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. You'd love to see it. That is one of the hardest levels in the entire game to speedrun. Oh my gosh, that is way too stressful. Okay, so Haxer is in a little scare right here. He can get a runaway, bro. If the Hammer Brother in top right turn... Oh, he got lucky! And Teeks is really good RNG. Oh man. I think in game one, we're, at, we, we're not going to see runaway. I really hope I didn't commentary's curse right now. Alright, both making very good work. Uh... Both of them are out of coin ship range. Very good. Neither of them have to worry about coin ship. They both kept their P speed. Holy crap. These guys are going crazy right now. It's like absolutely tied. This is what you want for a $500 finals match. Oh, Haxer with the scare again. Teeks with the scare as well. What the heck, man? These Hammer Brothers are being stupid. All right. Door three. Here we go. Haxer doesn't get it. No, oh, Teeks doesn't get it either. No, dude. No, man. If they would have got that door three trick. So door three is if they re-entered the door again with a single frame input, they would got a point there. They also would have saved some time as well. But very strategic points, man. It's all, it's all strategy there. There's no randomness in door three or the frame perfect jump. There's no randomness. It's all absolutely amazing. This is incredible. Does he get run away? He does it, dude. Haxer is good to go and Teeks is good to go. Neither of them get run away, bro. For anyone wondering, the bridges work. Every time you beat a level, the bridges open and close in World 3. They're the little overworld bridges, okay? If you don't fight both of the Hammer Brothers before you go to cross one of the bridges, the bridge will actually be open and you won't be able to cross it. So you don't want one of the Hammer Brothers to move right over level 6 because then you're absolutely screwed, guys. So Haxer is safe. He's good to go. He's going to fight his Hammer Brothers. Teeks is also safe. He's going to fight his Hammer Brothers. Uh, and they are able to use their cloud across 3-6. It's going to be fan freaking tastic guys. So Haxer's he's going to have to do some extra map movements where Teeks is safe. You see that bridge is open by level 6. So if one of the Hammer Brothers crossed level 6, they would have been screwed over so hard. But luckily, neither of them got it. Look at this time right here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, crap, man. This is incredible, dude. They are so close, and they both have two points to their name, but there's so many more points left, guys. There are so many more points left. There's actually a point uh, for killing Wendy, which is the World 3 boss. If you kill Wendy with a 210 on your in-game timer with all three of her rings out, you get 0.5. But it's very, very difficult, and it's very, very scary. So being as neither of them have taken damage, they are still able to get this World 6 point. Okay. All right. Here we go. H jump. Come on, boys. Let's go. The second, the second most anticipated level in World Three for speedrunners. Hopefully they don't. Looking good. Looking good. Damn, man. These guys are in for blood, right, man? They want the money, man. They want the cash prize, tournament point system setting. This is, this is phenomenal, guys. This is incredible. So they are both incredibly close. And remember, there's hands, right? This is warpless. One person gets two hands, one person gets no hands, right? So anyways, let me go back to explaining the Wendy point. Um, neither of them have taken damage. They have the original Fire Flower from World 1. And if you keep that original Fire Flower from World 1 all the way to World 6, you get three points. Look at this. I just gave them three points. They'd have five points right now. That's incredible. Haxer actually averages 
10 points per game and Teeks averages about seven to eight points per game. So this uh, this could be crazy. Um, so they're not gonna wanna go for the Wendy point because if they take damage, they're gonna be really kicking themselves because not only did they get the, they don't get the 0.5, but they don't get the extra three. And um, I also need to remind you guys, these opponents cannot watch each other's screen because if they watched each other's screen, they would change how they play. So they don't know where the where their opponent is. I bet both of them think they're winning right now. <laughs> they're both like, yeah, I'm so far ahead of my 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 opponent right now. Uh, the H is there. Um, they set up the blocks in that level in the shape of an H. So, sorry, I'm just reading a little bit of chat while we're in auto scroller. <clears throat> How you guys doing? You guys having fun right now? So the first person to generate the most points of three races wins the cash prize, the tournament setting, and this is only season one. We're gonna have multiple seasons of this, you guys. Multiple seasons. The winner of season one will have an advancement in season two. He'll be like the boss. Yeah, neither of them went for the Wendy points. So that's okay. Right on. Looking hot right now. All right, so... None of them got any points in World 3, but that's okay. Uh, it might be nerves. It might not be nerves. Who knows? Uh, you never know with the opponents. There's been many times in these runs where I've been like, oh, maybe he's planning on doing this. And I have no clue what I'm talking about. So, All right. So there is an ass point in World 4. You see on this, on the, on the tracker here, it kind of looks like it says ass right there, but it says 288. If you get a 288 on the in-game timer in the first fortress in World 4 you get 0.5. However, if you get screwed over and have to fight the Star Hammer Brother in World 4, you actually lose 0.5. So there's, we've hit some uh, some slight RNG points. We've hit the world of RNG points. Haxer getting the fast P-Speed. Teeks not, and Haxer is going to be able to take the lead just from that. However, Teeks did not take damage, so he's still safe. You have to remember, <clears throat> as long as you don't take damage, you're still safe. Those points are so important. Take a sip of the Sodi Pop. Ooh, Haxer with good RNG moving right. Teeks with questionable RNG. We don't know exactly how the Hammer Brothers are gonna go. Right on, they do the shoot kill, get the despawn. These guys are just flip-flopping, wishy-washy back and forth from first and second place. Those looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so they're gonna, they're about to do the most visually appealing level to speedrun for the viewers. Hacks are getting bad RNG. All right, Teeks and Hacks are have the exact same RNG here. Um, so they're going to be pretty good with the Hammer Brother. And they haven't gotten any movements of fours. So let's, uh, let's enjoy how sexy this level looks. All right, both of them get the jump. Run on the blocks. Get the side jump. Nice. They both get the side jump. The double bounce right there. The duck jump. Don't get hit. The mega jumps. And they're clean, man. They are right through. Absolutely fantastic. So sexy. Woo! So sexy. All right, they're in World Force. So we can kind of scroll down a little bit here. Let's see. I don't think anyone's going to go for the ass point. Nope. And no. So they do not want to try for that point. That point is too scary for them. However, if you felt like you were losing, it would be... You'd have the option. You'd have the option to go for that point. Woo! All right. Looks like both of them are going to have a clean shot at not getting screwed over in World 4. All right. Lack of two bounces. Very scary. I know Teeks is worried about this level. Good luck, Teeks. Hacks are doing clean work. Teeks doing clean work. All right, they're gonna go for the super swim. Boom, Haxer gets it. Ooh, Teeks is a little slow. I'd be scared right now. Ooh, <laughs> man, almost got sniped, dude. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. This run is absolutely incredible. <clears throat> All right, Haxer is good to music box and Oh, Teeks is a little stressed right now. Ooh, I would've went down to do level five. Ooh, that was the bad gamble on Teeks' part. He should've taken the two to three second time loss. <gasps> All the more reason he should've, he should go down, no, he should go to level five. Damn, Teeks with the bad decisions. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Teeks with the death right there and the .5 loss. Ooh, he's wishy-washy right now. He's stressing. Dying there also not gives him that extra three-point advantage that Haxer still has on him right now. But he's gonna go for Jesus Clip, so he can bring it back. Um, if you haven't died or taken damage, you won't go for Jesus Clip. 
But Teeks is gonna go for Jesus Clip now because he has died, which is a very good idea. All right, Haxor on the World 4 airship. Teeks now going to the fortress. Uh, he's not gonna be able to get his Fire Flower back for a very, very long time. Not sure why he didn't get the Mushroom in the level or do 5-4 to not have to fight the Hammer Brother he just did. However, uh, he did get the P-Wing, which is gonna help him in the later uh, part of the run. And again, these guys are nervous guys, so the decisions they make aren't always gonna be perfect, right? I've been in some of these high intense races before and sometimes it's very scary with the decision. But we are on the long boring aero, uh, airship, so I'm gonna open up chat again and ask you guys, how are you, how are you guys doing tonight? How are you guys doing tonight? Are, are you enjoying not only this race, but this tournament setting? And would you guys who are new here like to see uh, more of this tournament uh, style? Let me know what you guys think. The point system tournament, it allows everyone to be able to join. If you have under one hour in Warpless, you can join this tournament and win a cash prize. So I hope you guys really enjoy this kind of format. Because I feel like this is what retro gaming might actually end up needing to do in the future uh, to keep it alive and to kind of push it more into esports, you know? So, it's up to you guys, man. It's up to you guys. If the fans like it and the fans watch it, then boom, there we go. It's popular, right? That's all it takes. Right on. Glad you guys enjoy it. I'm glad I have time uh, to, to talk with you guys during the airships. <laughs> Take a sip of the Sony Pop too, guys. Oh, both of them with the most perfect coin count you could ever ask for. The most perfect, perfect coin count. Woo, baby! Let's go! If you guys want to know more about this, yes, type in exclamation SMB3 and all the rules are there for you guys. All the rules are there. Uh, that was a very good idea. Alright, hacks are gonna go for the fire kill. I'm closing down chat. Good luck, guys. See you on the other side. You never know who's gonna win, man. There's so much more to this. Axe with the fire kill. That's a big jump. Oh no! <sighs> Dude, if he would have taken damage there, he would have been still very close with Teeks. Remember, guys, there's three rounds of points. It's anyone's game. Anyone's game. There's three hours of the finals. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So, as you can see, Haxer does have a very nice advantage with time. But if he gets pulled into all three hands and, and Teeks doesn't, then this time doesn't matter. If Haxer takes one and a half minutes to get 7-7 seven, seven and Teeks gets the third try, Teeks will gain the lead. There's so much more to happen. Alright, Teeks up. I'm gonna go for the stomp kill. Hopefully he doesn't go right through him. Looking good. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, he takes damage, but that's okay. That's okay. He doesn't lose anything from that. Haxer in 5-1 right now. He's gonna go for his double shot. He's not gonna even go, to go for the shots. He does not want to risk taking damage. Taking damage at this point is very bad because Haxor is one world away from a massive three-point swing over Teeks. It's an incredible swing, man. It's a very big swing. So in World 5, he does not want to fall down this Shaft of Despair right here. Does he fall down it? Very scary. Oh my gosh! I thought for a second he was going to fall down it, but he did not fall down it. If he fell down it, he would have lost 0.5. However... If either of them get a movement of 4 with the Hammer Brothers, which is strictly RNG, they do lose uh, a potential of saving 0.4. If neither of them get a movement of 4, they can save 0.5. So hopefully they go for that. And also Jesus Clip, which Haxer is not going to go for. Because if Haxer dies, that's a bad decision on him. He's not going to go for it. Haxer not getting a movement of 4, so he is clean so far. He is clean so far. Teeks not getting a movement of four either. That is very good. That's what he wants to see. He needs as many points as he can get for this. All right, he's going to go for the fast. He's going to gain a little bit of time on Haxa there. However, <clears throat> he doesn't have his Fire Flower, so he can't Fire Kill the Boom Boom. Fire Kill on the Boom Boom very fast. But Teeks isn't as far behind as you guys think. They're both probably going to get sub-60, so they're going to be good for that. All right, Haxa put the Hammer Brothers to sleep, so we're going to get a good visual to see where... Uh, that Sky Hammer Brother is. Haxer is looking very good right now for no movements of four. Well, Teeks gets a movement of one. That's in that's so rare in uh, World 5. For anyone who doesn't know, the Hammer Brothers move one tile at a time. However, sometimes they can move two, three, or four tiles at once. Each movement is 0.5. So a movement of four 
will cost you 1.5, where a movement of 1 will only cost you 0.5. There's your time difference, right? So you gotta focus. The Hammer Brothers cost so much time in these speedruns. Alright, hacks are making good work of the Twisty Castle. Alright. <clears throat> we know Teeks is gonna go for- Dude, if Teeks gets Jesus Clip, this would be incredible. Does he get a movement of 4? No, another movement of 1! Teeks not using his music box because he used it in World 4, unfortunately. He does not have the extra one that Haxer got from World 2. That's why Haxer gets the, uh, the music box from World 2, so he can just bypass all these Hammer Brothers. Oh, I think that was a movement of 4. We're gonna find out after. That could have been a movement of 3, though. Um, it could be either or. I think it was a movement of 4, but we're gonna find out right here. That was a movement of 3. So, if the Hammer Brother is on the right side of level 7, or on the left side of the bottom Mushroom House, then they were movements of 3. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was so scary on Haxer's side, dude. He almost actually just took damage, and he's slowing down. The nerves are hitting him! The nerves are definitely hitting him right now, which I don't blame him. He's so close. He feels like if he gets these 3 points in World 6, he might take the win here. Haxer with another movement of 3, losing some time. No movements of 4 on Haxer's side, though. Really, really good. Alright, going for the fast peace speed strategy in 5-7. Looking good, making it work. Oh, Teeks slipping and sliding all over the vine right now. Alright, so Teeks was getting movements of 3, so he did not get movements of 4, so he's still in good hands right now. Alright, hacks are more movements of 3. Okay, so the bottom bros cannot give movements of 3, so if he gets a long movement now, we know he got a movement of 4, and that is a you-hate-to-see moment. Nope, that was a movement of 2. He's not gonna go for Jesus Clip, right? Nope. Alright, Teeks. Ooh, Teeks is so close to movements of 4! Alright, is he gonna go for Peace Speed Strategy? Teeks! Nice, man! He nails one of the hardest Peace Speed Strategies in the game, actually. Because of how chaotic it is with the Peace Speed. Nice, he's gonna get the Leaf. And th then he's gonna use a damage boost strategy in 5-7. Haxer making great work with the boom boom, smashing him. That level can be kind of trolly. Haxer feels like he's in the clear. Does he get a movement of 4 here? Teeks is safe! Oh, he got a movement of 2! One movement left, dude. Holy crap, Haxer's gotta be nervous right now. He could get an extra .5 here on Teeks. But Teeks has fought all the Hammer Brothers, so Teeks is guaranteed that .5. Nice! Teeks is saved, man. He saves a little bit of time. He doesn't want to take damage here. He is going to go for Jesus. I bet you he's going to go for Jesus Clip. Or he's going to bite. He's going to cut his losses. He's going to cut his losses and say, you know what? I think, I think uh, game two and three, I'm going to have a better chance. I'm not going to go for Jesus Clip and lose these points. Haxer not getting any movements of four either. He is awarded that point five. All right, Teeks. Is he going for it? He is. Oh, come on. That was so close, dude. I thought he had it. Teeks lost. Teeks loses the .5 there for going for the Jesus clip, man. That would have been incredible. That looks so close, man. That looks so close. If if Teeks doesn't have a good sub pixel value, he might not even be able to get it. So unfortunately, unfortunately, you hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jesus clip is if he would have clipped into the wall there, he would have skipped the whole level and came straight to the boom boom, and he would have got three points for that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why Jesus Clip is so expensive. However, in the in the long, in the grand scheme of things, with two more games after this and World 7 and World 8, Teeks isn't that far behind, guys. Alright, as long as Haxer doesn't take damage, he should be in the clear for his three-point boost. So the good news for Teeks right now is Haxer Haxy, he actually hasn't really generated any points. Uh, from the start, so... Um... This three-point lead that Haxer's gonna get with these extra... These extra points isn't gonna be that big. Um, because there's so much more that can happen. So, hopefully... Alright. So, Haxer's gonna be able to enter World 6 while Teeks gets on the airship, which is pretty good for us, because we have something to watch during, uh, the boring airships. Alright. So hopefully, I want to I want to hear that Teeks, and I want to see that Teeks is gonna shake this off, shake off this, shake off the jitters. There's lots of stuff left to happen. World six, 
If you get first try wall jump, and if you get the floor clip in the third fortress, boom, you are good to go. So as long as Haxer doesn't take damage here, he should be pretty good. Or accidentally equipped a P-Wing, that would suck. All right, looking good. I think Haxer's in the clear. What do you guys think? I think he's gonna successfully make it to the fortress, guys. What do you think? All right, Hammer Brother switch on them. And Haxer gets the three points. So a lot of you are wondering, why did Haxer just get three points? It's because Haxer kept his first Fire Flower from World 1 all the way to World 6. Till he does the damage boost on the spikes here. This strategy right there. That is the neatest strategy. You have to lose your Fire Flower for that strategy. So he kept it through all Worlds 1 to 5. Same power up. Pretty good. That's three points. That's big point swing. That deserves. Well deserved. All right, so Haxer has a big lead in points right now, but there's so much more. What if Haxer dies in the next, the next one, right? Big swings, guys. All right, Teeks' turn coming up. So Teeks is finally going to feel better about his loss of power-ups because you're supposed to lose them in World 6. Haxer gets the jump. He's not going to get P-Speed. He's not going to miss any inputs or die. Dude, dying is very, very bad for him right now, considering he just worked so hard to get those three points. All right, he's in the clear. He's not going to die. Looking really, really good. Looking really good. Haxer's got pretty decent Hammer Brother RNG right now. All right, now Teeks' turn. As long as Teeks doesn't take damage here, he won't have to take the stupid elevator. Ooh, and he does take the damage. Haxer going with the despawn nipper strategy. Oh, he feels like he didn't despawn them. That was very strange. He didn't take a chance to look. And... Oh, he didn't despawn them. Very weird, man. Oh, he takes damage. That is going to hurt him for the fortress in the next level. Ooh, man, this is crazy right now. So Teeks is going to have to actually do the elevator, the sadness elevator right here. Okay. Axer with the good RNG. Wow, very nice. He's not going to have to fight the extra hammer brother in this world. You'd love to see it. So what's what? I, what actually is going to happen right here? What actually is going to happen right here? Okay, so he looks like he's going to get his fire uh, he's going to get his leaf and then run back and probably build peace speed. Teeks is finally back to normal. Supposed to be small Mario. All right. So Haxa does his normal damage boost strats. Teeks not getting the early P-Speed, it's okay. Not having to worry about coin ships from either of them, which is really good. And the next is 6-9. The wall jump in 6-9 is going to be the next point in World 6. Right here, Haxer got that. I wonder if Haxer's going to get all points in World 6. That'll be incredible. Teeks getting incredibly bad RNG. Hopefully he doesn't take a death here. He's going to take a slow. Ooh, he's pretty good. All right. Nice. Haxer making good work getting P-Speed here. He's going to take intentional damage. Yep. Wall jumping a small Mario is much easier than big Mario. So again, Haxer's not that far ahead of him. All right, here we go. First try wall jump. Does he get it? Ah, he gets it! Right on. He's just making it even harder for Teeks right now. Axer messes up the P-Speed after the wall jump, but he does not care. He got first try, wall jump. All right, Teeks is going to have to fight the Hammer Brother he needs from this world. Looking good. All right, is Haxer going to get the Mushroom and go for the Clip in this level? I think he should. Yes, he is. This is going to be crazy, man. We have not seen anyone get all the points in World 6. So this would be crazy. Does he get it? Oh, he doesn't get it. He jumps a little too far. Teeks is gaining a lot of time in this level uh, over Haxer because he already had his tail. So that's really good on Teeks' part. Really, really good. Teeks can make a huge swing right here if he gets wall jump and the clip in the third fortress that Haxer just tried.
All right, so as you guys saw, Teeks takes his intentional damage because, like I said, it does... It is harder uh, to do wall jump as big Mario rather than small Mario. So come on, Teeks. Teeks knows his wall jumps. Fingers on the trigger, buddy. Right here for you. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> he gets it too! Yeah, man! Dude, he is very happy to see that, man. Congratulations. That is incredible. Right on. Okay, so he needs to go for this, dude. If he gets this 1.5 swing, that'll be really, really good for him. So he's going to go for the mushroom right here. All right, here we go. So there's a floor clip that you can get at the end of this fortress. Skip the elevator section. He's going to go for it. Does he get it? We have seen it before. Oh, he does not get it. That is very unfortunate. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see it. Go ahead and spam the hate to see it emotes, guys. I hate to see it. All right. Haxer does have some lead, so I think we're gonna bust out some Haxer audio. It's not the same quality as Teeks, but it's just as fine. All right. So what we're gonna see is Haxer do a sub-pixel manipulation. After he kills the boss, he's gonna move one pixel to the right. And then he's gonna try and move one pixel to the left. Let's see what he does. Moves to the right. Oh, instantly moves to the left. Haxer is guaranteed on sub-pixel 15 right now. Absolutely incredible. Guaranteed subpixel 15. All right, here we go. So Teeks is also going to go for that. So here we are. World 7, the nightmare of the points. So getting first try wall clip in 7 1, that's a point. First try wall clip in 6 7 6, that's a point. 7 7. All right, here we go, Haxer. Right here, fingers on the trigger. He's gonna go for the standing clip. He should be good. Ah, he gets it first try. 6.5 right now. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. This is incredible. If Teeks hadn't take that death, Teeks would be on his ass right now. But unfortunately, he did take that accidental death. Not his fault, man. It happens. All right, 7-2. He's not gonna use the star. He's gonna use a P-Wing. Yes, he's gonna use a P-Wing. Look at how fast he can do this level. Boom. Takes extra damage right there. No punishment. Does it nice and fast. Really good. Really, really good. All right, dude. He gets the nice clip. Sets him up for the very first pixel. And he's in the pipe. All right. Teeks is also going to go for the sub-pixel manipulation. Let's watch Teeks' stream. He's going to move one pixel to the right. Ooh, I don't like that. I didn't like that sub-pixel minute, man. He moved way too hard to the right. So I feel like Teeks is going to have a very, very annoying time with 7-1 right now. But hopefully he doesn't. It's very precise, but at the same time, it's, it's, you, can, you can do it. All right, hacks are making very good work of the... E this is the more easier level in the world. This is the only really super easy level in the world. Other than that, there's not much. All right, here we go, Teeks. Come on, buddy. First sub-pixel, man. I really hope. Ah, oh, he tried. Moving one pixel to the right, you don't want to do stand clip. It's actually impossible to do stand clip moving one pixel to the right. All right, Haxer using his P-Wing. So we're going to watch Haxer's side here because Haxer is also going to go for a sub-pixel manipulation here for 7-6. What he's going to do is he's going to move one pixel to the right. And then he's going to move a little bit to the right after that, just to kind of change his sub-pixel. Let's see what he does. Move to the right, and then he moved a little bit. There you go. Yo, Teeks get the, the wall clip. Very, very nice, dude. Very nice. All right, here we go, Haxer. Is he going to get first try 7-6? Ah, I guess first try 7-6. Dude, Haxer is making work with the last few worlds, making it even harder for Teeks right now. All right, let's see Teeks. He's going to use the P-Wing strategy as well to get through this level very quickly. You do not want to get stuck in this bottom pit. Is Haxer going to go for 7-7? Seven, seven? I feel like he's not. Oh, he is going to go for it. Here we go. 7-7, seven, seven, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's not going to go for it. Wow, what a debate right there. Haxer saying, you know what? I have enough points. I don't even care right now. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Incredible. All right, Teeks is turn to go up for 7-3. The more easier level, Hack's going to make good work of this. And he is out of there. So Hacks is not going to go for the 7-7 point. He actually made up one full point with these guys. 
So he doesn't even need this. He doesn't know that he doesn't need it, but he had he had a feeling, which is why he didn't go for that. Very, very nice. All right, so there's another point. There's 1.5 points that you can get in this next level. And that's if you get clips three and four first try. Not one and two. He doesn't have to worry about any clips in this level except for three and four. And that's 1.5. That is a killer swing, man. So if Teeks gets seven, seven, and seven, nine, that'll be crazy for him. All right, Teeks gonna use his P-Wing right here. He's gonna set up his sub pixel manipulation for seven, six, which he really needs. All right, Haxler's gonna go for one and three right now. Does he get it? <gasps> oh, man! Wow! No, dude! We've seen that so many times. Teek sets up his sub pixel. There you go. He's looking really good. Oh my gosh. Haxer had it, dude. He got the first one. He All he needed was the second one, man. What a rip. All right, Teeks. Come on, man. You got the wall jump. Now it's your time. Let's go. Right here. Oh, Teeks with the bad sub pixel. Not getting it. So Teeks' setup was incorrect. He His jump was right. Nice. He's getting it like third try. Really, really good there. Really, really nice there. Wow, this is crazy. All right, looking good. Nice. All right, so Teeks is going to go. Wow, that tail swipe he just did was crazy. All right, he still got P speed. Nice. He's going to get a star. All right, I think we're going to see some hammer suit here. Oh, yeah. Nice, dude. I want to see some hammer suit here. All right. Now, as long as he doesn't lose it, I think he's actually going to go back for 7-7. Seven, seven. So, it looks like Teeks is going to be like, alright, you know what? And as long as I get under an hour, I'm happy. But there's some hammer, there's hammer suit points and stuff he can go for. Um, also, you guys need to check the rules. I think for the hammer suit clip, you have to get it within three tries. Oh, he's not even going to go for it. I think that's a pretty good idea. He's going to go for these clips, though. All right, come on, bud. Clip three and four. He should have gone for seven, seven, though. But he I don't think he knows that. All right, he's out of there. He's like, I'm not dealing with that crap. Nice. Yeah, killing that boom, boom, D-lag. That's really, really good. All right, he gets that, that Goomba. All right, Teeks. A good solid 1.5 here would be really, really good. Solid 1.5. He needs it. All right, here's his chance. Let's go. <gasps> ah, he gets it! That's incredible! Oh, man, that is gonna help him a lot, man. Remember, there's three games right now. Dropping stuff. Oh, I don't want that same one. Thanks, babe. Right on. All right, guys, so Haxer is gonna go. As long as Haxer doesn't take any damage. Wow, Teeks is gonna go for the fortress here. There's no reason to go for this fortress. This is incredible what Teeks is going for. Holy crap, he's doing it! Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Wow, is he gonna get the insta-kill? He- Oh my gosh! What is Teeks' thing right now? This is crazy. Wow. What an absolute mad lad, you guys. That's incredible. Perfect time to eat dinner. All right, I can open up chat. How's it going, chat? Yeah, Teeks, where was that in World 4, buddy? What happened? But the, but those points are really, really, really gonna help him for games two and three. So, uh, grats to him, man. That is incredible. You should 100% have a point for a hammer suit and boom, boom, kill. Well, what about season two? Right? Season two could have it. 
Remember, there's multiple seasons with multiple points. This is only season one. I did not take part in the tourney. I want, I want it to be everyone else. Season two is going to be so lit. Yeah, season two is going to be pretty good. All right, they're both making work of their airships. It looks like they... Dude, if they... No, they're not going to enter the pipes at the same time. Very close, though. All right, Haxer. He gets a point if the Hammer Brother does not throw the boomerang. It's called Rangless. Does he get it? Oh, my God! He got it! Wow! Jesus! Haxer is just not giving him any leeway. He just got an extra point five for that RNG point that... Teeks cannot get with the hammer suit. That is why we have Rangless, and then that is why we have a hammer suit point. It equals them out. Wow. All right, Teeks needs an off-screen wand grab right now. Not gonna go for the off-screen wand grab, but that's okay. All right, hands are coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on just one sec, I'm just working on something. Alright, I am back right on. So Haxer is about to finish the Navy, which means he is going to be the first one at the hands. If he gets no hands, he gets 0.5. Because no hands is incredible. Alright, here we go. Let's see what he gets. Does he get no hands? This is gonna be crazy. Fingers on the trigger, bud. Let's go. Nope. He got the 99.9% .9 chance. Right on, looking hot. Teeks is making his way through the first ship. Oh, hand two, man. You hate to see it. All right, made his way through hand number two. Looking good, looking hot. Remember, if you keep your original power up from World 7, which is Haxer's um, Fire Flower, Teeks's Hammer Suit, then they will get a point for that. So as long as he doesn't take damage, he's pretty good. Oh man, imagine dying and getting no hands on this airship. That'd be very unfortunate. Alright, Teeks. Unfortunately, you cannot get Rangless with the hammer suit. Oh man, missing the hammer. I don't know why he doesn't stomp on the bro, but that's okay. It's done. He's done. Maybe just a little bit of, little bit frightened that the boomerangs can do something. Uh, I don't blame him for taking it cautious because uh, there's still a lot more points that he can actually get, which is really good. So yeah, Teeks is not as far behind as you think right now. Right on, looking really good. All right, Haxer's gonna be the first one to do 8-1, 8-2, and the Fortress. Remember, Teeks has already done uh, the Fortress, so Teeks still has an extra cloud right now. All right, so he wants to make sure he doesn't die or take damage here. Nice, he's gonna go for the fast strategy. Or sorry, he's gonna go for the safe strategy. All right, 8-1 looking hot. Right on. All right, 8-2's <clears throat> coming up. We're gonna see the Sand of Shame. There's no shame if you're winning, right? Right? No shame if you're winning. Oh! Little slip up there. He wanted to like hit the sand, dude. You hate to see it. All right. Teeks with the the hammer kill. Boom. All right. Axe with the sand. 
the the shand of shame the shand of shame Looking pretty good as long as he doesn't die here all right so pretty clean all right teeks how many hands oh he's so close dude if he would have got no hands there he would have got a point man and he needed he needs all the points he can get he needs all the points he can get, but he's looking pretty clean right now. All right, Haxer. As long as he doesn't take damage here. And again, neither of them have used an inventory star, so they're pretty safe. Looking pretty hot. All right, Haxer making good work here. He's safe. He's good. Make sure he gets in that door. Seen it before. All right. He's not going to miss first cycle because this isn't rando. Doesn't have to worry about it. As long as he doesn't press up too fast here. All right, he's sipping pretty good. Nice, making good work. All right, Teeks still, still on the airship, which is fine. It's an auto scroller. You can't really, uh, can't really control it. Nice, looking super hot. All right, they're both gonna be on air auto scroller. Hax is on his last one, so the last point for Haxer, um, well, the last little bit of points he can get is as long as he keeps his original power up which he has so far and uh elevator clip if he gets elevator clip in bowser's castle that's another 0.5 all right so teeks only has 8-1 and 8-2 which is pretty good all right 8-1 with the hammer suit is very scary. But Teeks knows the hammer suit way too well. Look at him go. Boom. He's out of there. All right, so I think I think we're going to see an incredibly swaggy, an incredibly swaggy 8-2 on Teeks' side. I think we're going to see it. Oh, kills the sun. The sun's gone. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, dude. The swag strats absolutely killed it. All right, Haxer. He's on his way for the elevator clip right here. Point Another point five for Haxer. Does he get it? Oh, he does not get it. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. All right, Teeks is on the last auto scroller as well. As long as Haxer doesn't take damage here or die, he should be pretty good for a juicy amount of points here. And uh, Teeks is on his way for, you know, a little bit of juicy points too. He's kept the same power up. Um, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> can a mod confirm that because nobody's really gone for Hammer Suit, um, you have what? How many tries do you have for the clip for the Hammer Suit? Oh man, hacks are slowing down right there. That was very scary. All right, so Teeks gets three tries for the hammer suit. So what Teeks can do is go for mid clip, or sorry, he can go for. Well, hold on here, Haxer's time right here, 53, 53.15. 53.15. All right, so Haxer he gets first place, sub 60, sub 54, and original power up 12 point. Five points, game one for Haxer. Absolutely incredible right there. All right, Teeks is still up though. Teeks can still generate a bunch of points here. Yeah, so Haxer got first place. He got under 60 minutes and under 54 minutes. So he gets points for those. All right, Teeks, go for elevator clip and then go for hammer suit clip. He doesn't get it. All right, now he's going for the hammer suit clip. He's got three tries. One. Oh, he gets it! Wow, dude, congrats. That is so good for him. That is so good for him. Right on, as long as he doesn't take damage here. Ooh. Yeah, I see you later, Bowser. All right. So Teeks unfortunately did not get sub 60, but he did have the original power up second place in, or sorry, not sub 54. So Teeks' time is officially, looks like it's gonna be a 54, 40, 
54 or something. Nope, 54, 39. Right on. So Teeks's points are second place, original power up, and sub 60. Not exactly what he wanted here. Not exactly what he wanted here. All right, the runners are going to take... Yeah, unfortunately he died. All right, we're gonna give the runners like a one to two minute break. You're gonna give them a break? All right, and then we're gonna get game two on the go. Let's go guys. All right, they're gonna confirm. We're gonna get this race on the go. And Big Papa Mitch has had his dinner already, so I am energized, guys. I am ready to go. Cling, 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 cling. Dinner finished. Right on. All right, are you guys ready? We got a ready from Haxer. And a ready from Teeks. Okay, on three. On go from three. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, here we go. Let's go, guys. Come on. Again, there's a slight delay between Discord and me, but barely anything. All right, here we go. We have Haxer and Teeks. Let's see how it's going to go. Game number two. Oh, Haxer losing his P-Speed. <gasps> What's going to happen? Oh, Daxer flip-flopping! Taste <laughs> flip-flopping! Oh my gosh, the wishy-washy movement. Dude. Haxer takes the crown from me from the worst 1-1 ever done in a race. My GDQ run was the worst, but it looks pretty good. He didn't have to take it. Alrighty. Alright, so... Dude, every time I turn my fan on, the air conditioner comes back on. Every time I turn my fan on, the air... Alright! Alright, Teeks getting a good movement of one. Teeks, please don't go for the orb jump. Alright, he goes for the orb jump anyways. He said, cram it, Mitch! Cram it, Mitch! I've had enough of your cram and nonsense, Mitch. Cram it right now. Alright. 
Haxer doing a little, little wishy-washy. All right, Teeks is going to be first right now at the MFP tunnel. All right, Teeks, you need as many points as you can get right here. This is it. This is your time now. This is it. Here we go. MFP tunnel, let's go. No! Oh, he touches his foot on the ground. Haxer's turn to the MFP tunnel. This is a chance for Haxer to take the lead right away at the start of the game. Does he get the MFP tunnel? He gets the MFP tunnel right on Haxer with that 0.5 lead. However, neither of them have used an inventory star and neither of them have died yet. So the total points that Haxer has right now is 12.5. Teeks has six. So Teeks is going to have to work a little bit harder. Kind of hope that Haxer maybe takes some deaths. Hopes that Haxer loses some power-ups. There's a lot of things. All right, Teeks has the annoying Hammer Brother fight again. So we're gonna see how this goes right here for Teeks. Gets a slightly bad RNG. He gets the he gets the Fire Flower, and so does Haxer. So again, man, I want to see some coin ships and fanfares. You know, I want to see some some good old fashioned getting wrecked. Oh yeah, somebody was mentioning, do not forget, the after party of this tournament will be in my stream. That'll be Mitch Flower Power, twitch.tv. Go, go there after that. We're probably going to raid slash host, and then we're all going to hang out and talk about how the tournament went. And we're going to talk about how Season 2 is going to go. I'm going to reveal a little bit of information about Season 2, uh, when it's going to be, some of the points that are going to take place for Season 2. Yes, we'll have a little bit of an after party after this. Winner does not face me, no. Bottle of champagne for the winner. Alright, looking good. Alright, Teeks with the annoying fire kill, but he does nail it. Haxer! What happens to Haxer? What's going on? And Haxer gets it too, right on. Woo! Kills it, dude. All right. So remember, just like the first race, World 2, they need to get a 292 or higher in the pipe in 2-2, and they need to get 221 or higher on the timer with the fire kill. Right on. Looking pretty hot. Looking good so far. Dude, I wonder who's going to take this. You have to remember, if, if if one player has, like, a super low point game or something, like Haxer, it's not going to help him, right? Alright, Teeks making dirty work at 2-1, looking good. Now it's Haxer's turn. Alright, Haxer killing it. Alright, they both making very, very good work of this first level. Teeks gets the Fire Flower! Come on, Haxer, get the Fire Flower. I want to see a fanfare so bad here. Yeah! <laughs> Come on! All right. All right, Teeks with the good RNG. Hammer Brother moving left. That's what you want to see. All right. Come on, Teeks. 228, 227, 296, 295, 294. Nah, he ran too much. You can't get it if he runs on the ground. Axel, 295, 294, 293, 292. Oh, he was so close, dude. What a troll point, man. That point is so difficult. And neither of them get the fanfare. Look at that. Must be nice. All right, Teeks getting the reverse good RNG. Turns back to standard RNG. Hopefully he doesn't get screwed over. Oh, no! Teeks taking damage right away. And Haxer getting a movement of four. Haxer could totally get a one death early hammer here. It is possible. Teeks just losing the option of getting three points. Very unfortunate. You really hate to see that, man. And he hasn't died yet, so Jesus Clip is somewhat out of the question. So, uh, luckily this is early on, so there's so much more that can happen to both players. Um, so hopefully... Hopefully it's not too bad, man. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's looking good, though. It's really, really looking good here. Alright, Teeks, did he get better RNG? He does not get better RNG. What does Haxer get? Ooh, Haxer looked like he got another movement of four, so I don't know if it's, uh... I don't know if he can get a post 2-3 early hammer here.
All right, Teeks. Uh, Teeks with the, he's pretty decent RNG, Teeks is with. His RNG is not too bad. He will get his Fire Flower back on the airship. All right, the sun level. Why is the sun so angry all the time, guys? My guess is that the sun needs a friend. The sun is trying to swoop down to make a friend and it's not working. All right, Teeks is gonna have to do level four. Nice. Yes, Teeks, level four. Right on. All right, Haxer looks like he is gonna opt out for level four as well. We did not see this level last time. Teeks making dirty work with it. Oh man, that's scary. So it looks like Teeks is actually gonna lose his lead here so close. Almost lost. Teeks had a very nice time lead on Haxer. It looks like he might lose it here. Very possible. All right, so Teeks gets the good RNG. Haxer is also pretty much on track for a pretty decent RNG. It depends. If the Hammer Brother stays in between the pyramid and the castle, Haxer is gonna get forced to fight that Hammer Brother. And he is not. So I don't even think he's gonna go for the music box this time. So he's not gonna get as lucky as he got last race for it. If Haxer takes damage at any point, that evens up the entire race. So we'll have to see how this goes. All right, they're both annihilating the pyramid. Looking good. Oh, Haxer with the flip floppity floops right there. Gotta watch out for those. Always watch out for the flip floppity floops. Nice. All right, looking good. <clears throat> looking really good. All right, movement of two. Movement of two with Fire Flower Grab is, I feel like that is uh, like a, I don't know, 100% pattern. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, I got chat open up. Chat, how do you guys feel about that early damage from Teeks? What do we say about that? What is going on? What is going on? Bad. Makes me sad. Yeah, devastated. You hate to see it. Hate you to see it. What the heck? Exactly, Alpha Channel. That's how- that's how I feel. If I was Teeks, that's what I would do if I took damage there. Basically game over at this point? You are absolutely wrong about that. Perhaps you should watch a lot of the other tournament matches. All right, chat is closed again. Boom, roasted. All right, Teeks has his Fire Flower back. Hopefully he doesn't lose it here. He does. He is going to get a strange pattern. Hopefully he knows it. Hopefully he knows this pattern. All right, to get a point, these these guys need 221 or higher on the in-game timer. Let's start with Teeks. Teeks gets it. Haxer also gets it. Boom. All right. So what, what made that really good is that Haxer does not get that huge advantage over Teeks from something like that, especially him not taking damage. Wow. It's going to be crazy, guys. All right, next point, world three, one. Take a look at Teeks' screen. Does he get a first frame jump before he lands in the water? If he does, he gets a point. Does he get it? No, he does not get it. Does Haxer get it? Haxer gets it. Oh man, this is a spin, man. This is a big turn. Neither runner got it last race, but Haxer got it this race. That is something that Teeks needed to get where Haxer not get. Needed it. Needed it. Ooh, guys, but Teeks has already taken damage, so that stress, man, he doesn't have that stress right now. He doesn't get the points. He doesn't- Haxer has that stress. All right, 3-2. Oh my god, this level is so nerve-wracking. Uh. All right, Teeks gets the early P-Speed. Haxer also gets the early P-Speed. How does the rest of the level go? <sighs> Teeks almost flubs it, but he, ma he nails it. Hacks are doing pretty good avoiding coin ship, and so is Teeks. Neither of them have to worry about coin ships. Man, oh man, that was stressful. All right, run away, bro. Looks like they're both okay right now. All right, ha Hacks and Teeks with the same. Dude, I was going to say Hacks and Teeksor. <laughs> All right, here we go. 3-3, three, three, looking good. 
I didn't say it, though. I almost did. It looks like they're going in a wave right now, like a baseball game. Or like a football game or something. Alright, 44 coins versus 44 coins! Alright, Teeks, or sorry, Hacks and the Teeks or 88. <laughs> Alright! Wow, they both got lucky. Haxer unfortunately has to do a water battle though. So Haxer has no safe guarantee. Does Teeks get door three? Teeks gets door three! Oh my god, that is so pog. He gets door three, he gets that point right there. And Haxer is a runaway scare. Haxer needs to get door three to keep a good lead. Does Haxer get door three? Ah, he does not get door three, so he loses time. And Teeks doesn't have to worry about runaway, bro. I'm very nervous for Haxer right now. I'm very nervous for Haxer right now. This, um, this could be a big change right here. Teeks does not have to worry about Runaway. If Haxer has to deal with Runaway, then that means Haxer is, by default, just already losing at least 20 seconds from it. Let's see what happens here. Hammer Brother needs to not move right. Oh! Teeks with the luck! Haxer, oh my god, sorry. Haxer with the luck. Teeks is just gonna skip the Hammer Brothers. Teeks is already taking damage, so he's gonna go for the ass point. Wow, this is crazy. Wow, Teeks is getting a huge little lead right here from all of that. However, Axer's looking pretty solid too, so. Wow, it looks like Teeks is gonna go for the ass point in World 4. I wonder if he's gonna use the star though, that's the question. Is he gonna use the star? No. If he uses a star and gets it, then they like cancel each other out. Plus, he opens up the ability to use stars whenever he wants. <clears throat> All right, as long as he doesn't get eaten here by the fish. If he gets eaten here by the fish, Haxer will probably lose. And not because of anything, just because he doesn't have a cloud. He would have had to do the auto-scroller. So it's, it's a nightmare. All right. He probably would have to do... He would have to go all the way around. Because the bridge would be off-level off cycles. All right. Teeks finishing this world, making his way through, looking good. Now, Teeks has already taken damage, so uh, we might see Teeks actually go for the Wendy point here. Whew, hacks are almost touching that music box there, not getting the ace jump, but they nail it. They nail it. Yeah, Teeks has got the huge meta. It seems like, Teech, it seems like Teeks understands if he takes early damage, it opens up the doorway for a bunch of points. The points that he can collect from taking damage could counteract the amount of points that Haxer gets, right? If Teeks gets Wendy, Ass Point, Jesus Clip, you know, there's just, there's so many points there. And Teeks also has the, the lead on time right now. And we already know that 7-7 seven, seven can play a huge role. Plus, we know that Haxer takes the Sand of Shame. Plus, a whole bunch of other crap that happened. Anything can happen. Looking incredible. Looking absolutely incredible. Okay, here we go. Alright, Teeks is first up. If Teeks shoots Wendy nine times, he's gonna go for the Wendy point. I'm very nervous for him. I hope he's been practicing it. Alright, let's see what he does here. Alright. Two, four, six, eight. Nope, he's not going for it. Oh, man. Should have practiced it for sure. 221 is not a 210 on the in-game timer. But you know what? I think Teeks feels like he's comfortable. Uh, his World 3 worked out nicely. He got good RNG in World 2. And he might think, okay, Haxer might have gotten run away. If Haxer gotten runaway, bro, Haxer would be much further behind right now. But neither of them have gotten runaway, bro, yet. I am so surprised at how many non-runaway bros we've gotten in this tournament. What about you guys? Like, we've gotten barely any. We had Calcos, which was really funny. That was a good one, Calcos. He, like, got confused and, like, stopped on the map and didn't know what to do. All right, Teeks. Is he going to go for the shell grab? Uh, slower P-speed strategy. He is not going for it. All right, look at that. Wow, the fast P-speed. You cannot get coin ships in World 4 for anyone wondering. You cannot get coin ships. 
All right, is either one of these runners going to let their little sister play to give the other person advantage? I'm not sure. We don't know what's going to happen yet. I can confirm that the bikini babes have been put away or they get disqualified. All right, hacks are making work. Axer gets the fast P speed in 4-1. Looking clean, man. Looking clean. They both get really good P speed in 4-1, and boom, Haxer is out of that level, and Teeks is also out of his level as well. I'm very nervous for Teeks, man. The ass point is very difficult, and he's got to chase this hammer, brother. If if Teeks accidentally uses a hammer here, he has to do two extra levels in World 6. That is a big mistake. If he uses his hammer here, it'll be nothing but a mistake, so we'll see. Nice, Hacks are making dope work with 4-2. Looking like they're both having a very strong World 4. Alright, dude, I'm nervous for Teeks. But you know what? I have faith in Teeks. And I don't often do this, but I'm gonna preemptively give the point. Alright, that's a risk to be made. Alright, come on, man. I'm so nervous. Point 288 in that fortress. Holy crap, dude. He did it. He freaking did it. That is so hard to do. And in the race, dude. The ass point. Are you the ass man? <laughs> Why, yes. I think I have your license plate. <laughs> right on Teeks, dude. Wow. Oh, Haxer with the marathon. Uh oh. Okay. Teeks is safe. Oh my gosh, dude. This is incredible right now. If Haxer takes damage, this evens it out so much. So, whoa, that was close. All right, what's going to happen here, boys? Oh, Teeks is not safe here. Oh no, Teeks. Not safe. Oh, this is bad. If this is the star, he loses that hard-earned ass point. <gasps> wow. What, he's going for it? Why doesn't he use the music box? Oh, I guess if he gets lucky, right? Okay, okay. Alright, Haxer gets good RNG. <sighs> Teeks is in a very, very annoying situation right now. The World 4 has not been nice to Teeks today. Alright, we gotta hope that the Hammer Brother is facing right when Teeks beats this level. As soon as Teeks goes to the overworld map, if the Hammer Brother is facing right, Teeks is in a very good situation. Come on, face right. Face right. The odds are in his favor to get lucky here, so... Face right. Nice, he's good. Wow. Boxless World 4 with P-Wing and the ass point. Dude, I don't even care that he didn't get P-Speed there. That was a cr I can't believe he took that gamble. If he got that star, bro, he would have got... He would have lost 0.5. So, Haxer is gonna have to gamble for really good RNG in World, um... In World 5, or else he's gonna have to fight both bros, which Teeks clearly hasn't had to do so. Wow, this race is crazy right now. It started kind of like... Well, it didn't really start so slow, because look at the point deviation here. Right? We got tunnel with jump and kill, and then we got kill with door and ass. We got ass door kill, and we have tunnel kill jump. Nice. Tunnel kill jump. Kill door ass. Looking good. Alright, I can open up chat again. What's going on, guys? Gonna take a sip of our sodi pop. Uh, Teeks' stream being a little bit blurry when he runs is due to his quality. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. What was Haxer's time in race one? Haxer's time in race one was 53.15. And Teeks was 30... Teeks was 40 seconds shy of getting that extra point there. I don't double all the points because this is the first tournament point system and I wanted to delegate points per trick based on the difficulty uh, properly. Um, and there's so many more seasons to come, so 
it's just like think of it like a just like a TV show or a new sport or anything that comes to rise. Like the first season is like work this works so well, but there's there's a bunch of little changes we can make to this format to make it better, right? So season two, there's not gonna be any point fives. Season two is gonna be one, two, three, four, five points, kind of. So. And don't forget, the after party is gonna be taking place in my channel. MitchFlowerPower.twitch.tv Twitch.tv slash MitchFlowerPower um, And we're going to talk about this and we're going to go over Season 2 and don't forget to give the runners a follow as well and give all of us a follow because we're going to be doing this two times a year, two seasons Alright, Haxer, two shots, double shots He gets it, nice and he doesn't take damage So Haxer has one world left Alright, got a close chat, see you guys on the other side Alright, Teeks Going for the movement of one kill, nice Looking good Neither of them go for the off-screen wand grab. Teeks, what the heck was that? <laughs> Teeks, that was too late. You missed the wand, bud. That's okay. It happens. Uh, yes, the whole tournament is going to be coming out on my YouTube. Um, within the next couple days. Not every video, but every video is going to come out every other day. I have it set up. So don't worry, guys. I got you. All right. 5-1. Do not want to take damage in this. If he takes damage, that'll be rough. Alright. Doesn't get screwed over by the chain chomp. Looking good. Alright, Teeks. Teeks is still in the lead, but it seems like he's not because Teeks has already fought his hammer brother with the P-Wing, whereas Haxer has not. Oh, Haxer gets the switch up. That is bad. If both ha if the hammer brothers move left. After Haxer beats this level, if they have both Hammer Brothers, all they do, if they both move left, Haxer is screwed over. He has to fight both of them. Where Teeks has his music box still. And I really hope Teeks doesn't forget his music box. That's his chance to win the race. Well, maybe not win, but you know what I mean. Get the lead back. All this time matters. Alright, here we go. So, let's see if Haxer gets the instant screwed over. Let's see. No, he didn't, but he's kind of still screwed over a little bit. This RNG is crazy. Alright. No movements of four yet. Let's see on Teeks' side. Oh! I think that was a movement of three, though. I don't think that was a movement of four. Oh, Teeks, use the music box, bro. He's killing me. It's okay, though. Okay, we're still making it through. Haxer's not taking damage yet. Haxer also has not gotten any movements of four just yet. Alright, here we go. Does Haxer get lucky? It's not looking so. It's gonna be even worse if that Hammer Brother moves left for Haxer. It's gonna be even worse, dude. Ouch. Teeks, what are you doing? He has the music box. Oh, does he want to skip the... I don't know what he's... Did he use the music box in World 4? You can't skip- you cannot skip a Hammer Brother in the bottom section of World 5. You can't- it's impossible. Right? So you'd want a music box. Oh, he's gonna keep P-Speed? Okay, we got it. We're good. Alright. So, I guess he's gonna try and skip the music box in World- In World 4. And if, or in the top of this section. And if he does do that, then he should be pretty good. Alright, Haxer with no movements of four. Which is pretty good. The second they get a movement of four, they lose a chance at 0.5. Alright, Teeks making good way. Haxer cannot skip this Hammer Brother. He has to fight him. However, Teeks can. Teeks also Hammer Brother in the exact same position. Alright, this is looking pretty hot. There is a game three, so Haxer, neither of them will go for Jesus Clip, I don't think. Oh, it doesn't get P-Speed. Very unfortunate. Gets the backup P-Speed, which is really good. Alright, Teeks. The movement of two. This is very scary. Oh, Teeks with the P-Speed. Incredible. He's going to get a little bit of time back from that. Haxer with the constant movements of three. Uh, but it actually looks like these guys are going to be pretty safe here. 
looking pretty safe here. Oh, come on! What a ripoff! So Teeks does not get the movement of four there. Unfortunate, man. Very, very lame. So it looks like Haxer gets the no movements of four in world five. Nice. Very well done right there. Very well done. All right, he's got the fortress again, as long as he doesn't take damage. Oh, no way. And Teeks wanted to skip this Hammer Brother too. Oh, and he tried for Jesus Clip and he takes the plummet. Ouch. That is... That is an uh-oh if I've seen one. He hadn't died yet. I'm not sure why he went for the Jesus Clip. Oh, he uses a P-Wing. He, he needs Haxer to die or something. Alright, making good work of the fortress here. Alright. Alright. Teeks had so many little points generated, I'm not sure why he went for the Jesus clip. But again, man, these players, they go for, they go for things for whatever they believe on. You know, I wasn't even watching right at the start because I really didn't think he was going to go for it. Oh, another movement of four. Wow, this world four and fives are really uh, picking on Teeks. <sighs> Almost missed that jump. It was very close. So if Haxer does not take damage here, he will get those three points again. Those are the, those are some of the main points that you can get. You really want those extra three points right here. All right, Teeks is gonna use his cloud, and he's gonna get the heck out of here. Wait. Does... Oh, I guess he does have the extra music box. I am very confused. Um, I think... Maybe he forgot in the bottom section of World 5 that um, he was going to fight the star and not the P-Wing. Maybe he forgot they switched. And he thought it was the P-Wing, right? So he wanted to get the extra P-Wing. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure uh, how it went, but um, it's definitely something we can ask him later because there is something that, that happened there. I, I missed it. It, was, it had to have been something. All right, Haxer with the stomp. Looking good. All right, looking good. Goes for the off-screen wand grab. Does not get the off-screen wand grab. Unfortunately, we have not seen one off-screen wand grab this whole tournament. So we're going to have to add the off-screen wand grab back for season two. Let's see how it goes. Oh, we'll see how it goes, baby. <laughs> All right, world six. As long as Haxer does not take damage on this hammer, brother. <sighs> Teeks, that was very close. What? I... I think, I think Teeks is a little confused on how the off-screen wand grab works. You need to do it right away and then stand in the top right. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes later. As long as he doesn't take damage here, Axe's looking good for the no damage. Oh! Not a pro chest grabber. Indeed. Alright, here we go. So it looks like Haxer is going to get the big daddy points. Boom, three points. All right, he's going to take the elevator very slow here. Looking good. Teeks is still in good condition. Teeks has killed this run so far. But that World 5 was just very strange. Very strange World 5. Uh, Teeks does not have a music box. He used a music box to put a music box to sleep, which means he doesn't have a music box for the Piranha Plant. In uh, World Seven, so this will be uh, this will be interesting to see. All right, hacks are not getting P speed. That's okay. All right, nailing six four P speed. Six four P speed is pretty difficult, so uh, it's good to it's good to nail it and get it out of the way. So now Teeks has to do small Mario hammer kill here while getting a marathon. That's annoying. All right, here we go. What's happening? 
Nice, looking good. Haxer with the P-Wing. Haxer is low a P-Wing, by the way. Haxer did not get a P-Wing from World 5 or World 4. Nice, he gets the despawn. He didn't get that last time, so it's looking good. Oh, Teeks got early P-Speed for sure. <gasps> Missed early P-Speed, what a rip. He was uh, one frame too good uh, from what it looked like. All right, making, oh, oh no, oh my gosh, that's so scary. All right, Haxer, we're not sure if he's got good RNG here or not. We don't know. Teeks got bad RNG, unfortunately. So Haxer did get good RNG right here, so he does not have to fight. You can do a screen transition across the Hammer Brother. You get one free frame when you move, uh, when you change the screens. You got one free move. All right. Lots of points from here until the end, guys. Lots of points. And there's points to be taken away from some people. So there's always there's always so many things that can go on. So Haxer's definitely going to take damage here because he is going to want to do the wall jump. And now Teeks can get his hammer so he can skip 6-7. It's a very important skip. Oh, sorry. He gets his cloud. He already has the hammer. All right. Takes the intentional damage. Yes, he does. All right. So Teeks is not too far behind here. All right, Haxer, does he get first fry wall jump? First fry wall jump. Let's go. I want to see it. My mouse is already over it. Let's go. Does he get it? Oh, he does not get it. That gives Teeks a very, very healthy chance here. Haxer with the uh, P speed strat after getting the wall jump. However, it's okay though. Doing too bad. Alright, Teeks' turn now to take damage here. Uh, and set himself up for the wall jump where Haxer is going to get a mushroom here. And try and go for the clip. Good luck, man. That's worth 1.5 points. That is some mad points. That is some... <gasps> Ooh, face plants. Let's get his P-Speed back. He does. He goes for it. Oh, I thought he had it for a second there. That's incredible. Teeks can get two points back here. If he gets the wall jump first try. Come on, Teeks. Right here. Oh, he doesn't get it. You hate to see it. No good sub pixels yet for Teeks. There you go. He got it, and then he nailed the jump. Wow, they both got wall jump first try last race, and neither of them got wall jump first try this race. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see it, man. Very unfortunate. I think he used the mushroom from the mushroom house, actually. Yeah, right on. All right, come on, Teeks. This is it. You need this. Wow, that was very close, you guys. Dude, undershooting it means you were so willing to cut that as close as possible. Wow, you hate to see it. But again, I, I, okay, so I feel like Haxer's not gonna go for 7-7 seven seven again. I think he's learned that if he's on pace to sub-54, there's no point in going for 7-7. Seven seven. However, if he's on pace for sub-54, he could get sub-54 and 7-7 seven seven and maximize those points, but um, there's no real point in doing that. World 7 is a huge world for points. All right. So Haxer is going to be the first one to set up his subpixel for 7-1. Alright, so what Haxer is going to do is he's going to move one pixel to the right to get a low subpixel value. And then he's going to try and move one pixel to the left very, very lightly to have a high subpixel value. High subpixel value means you can do standing clip and 7-1. Let's see what he does. There you go. He got it. So, um, I don't know how hard he pressed, but it looked like he was on a, um, a value of either 15 and 14, which is what he need if he... Wow, Teeks. Oh my gosh. Very close. 
Almost died from that fire. That was so close. That hitbox, man. That hitbox. All right, so 7-1 first try. Here we go. High sub pixel value. All he's got to do is the standing clip. And he's good. First try. All right, Teeks' turn right now. Uh, I don't know what kind of manipulation Teeks does. He did not move a pixel. He moved his feet. So Teeks probably has a high sub pixel value. All right, Hacks are using that P wing. Nice, using the fast strategy for uh, seven two. This is the fastest strategy you can use uh, because when you use a P wing, you are instant. You are instantly with P speed, so you can just go, go, go. Oh, what? Misses the pipe. All right, Teeks, come on, man. Seven one, first try. Didn't even get the opportunity, unfortunately. All right, Haxer in 7-3. Pretty good. Teeks still trying to get the clip. Your odds are still very low of getting the standing clip. You need a subpixel value 1 or 2 to get in the wall. There we go. Nice. He's got it. So I have a feeling Haxer is not, not going to go for 7-7 seven, seven here. And again, don't forget guys, Teeks does not have the music box. At least I don't think so, right? Oh! Is he going to go for fast? Ooh, Haxer missing. Oh man, he's going to go for fast 7-2. He got it! Hopefully... Nice, dude. That was so scary, man. Haxer does a sub-pixel manipulation where he moves right one pixel, kind of taps a little bit more. So he's going to go for first try. I cannot believe Teeks just did what Teeks did. Dude, Teeks is pulling out so many stops, but some of the decisions are very questionable. All right, Haxer, first try, 7-6. Oh, he does not get it. He might have had a bad sub-pixel value there. As long as he doesn't accidentally enter the level. I mean, we all want him to because it would be hilarious. But you gotta watch out for that. Do not press up on the D-pad. All right, he gets the clip. He is in there. All right. So Teeks making heavy work of 7-3 as well. So Teeks is not too far behind. Uh, Haxer does not get that point. And again, they don't know where each other are in terms of points and where they are uh, in time. So let's see if Haxer goes for 7-7. He's going for it. Oh, man. This... Oh, he's not going for... Oh, dude, I get you baited so much. I forget that he does the level. It's just we want to see 7-7 seven, seven so bad. I got jabated hard there. That was a hard jabation. Whee! Right in the pipe. Let's go. All right. Teeks is going to go for his sub-pixel manipulation here. He's going to move one pixel to the right. There you go. He's mo he moved way too much. I need, we need to have we need to give Teeks a lesson on the sub pix manips. All right, hopefully hopefully it's cycled back around and he has a high sub pixel value. Let's go, Teeks! Come on! Ah, low sub pixel. He moved way too much there. He had it right the first time, but then moved too much. So unfortunately, all of these jumps are correct for him as well, though. Come on, Teeks, get in there. All right, Haxer's turn now. He's going to go for clip three and four. Does he get it? There's a big point swing. No, he does not get it. Teeks gets... Teeks gets the seventh six, so he gets the clip. Come on, Teeks, we got you, bro. All right, Haxer making his way through the fastest level in the game. Teeks is definitely going to go for seven seven. Yep. All right, Teeks. We got a 7-7 seven, seven on our hands. Jumping a little too short. Come on now. A little too short. You got it, Teeks. 
He's got lots of time. Come on. So close, man! Oh! Ah! No! My gosh! I've seen it! We've seen it too many times in this tournament! What the heck, man? You gotta have faith! When you get it, you get it! That's why you hold down! Oh, man! That does not count! Oh man, I've seen it wait now he's not getting it. He's getting bad RNG. Oh so hate to see it, man. <sighs> oh baby. He needs this now. He needs to fix the, the point that he just got taken from him. He took from himself. You hate to see that happen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was it again. See, now he's confident. Now he's confident in his clip, right? Every time he clips, he sits there for a second and waits. Haxer making it out of the airship. Making good work of the boss. And Teeks is being very stubborn right now. He's like, I need this really bad. All right, he's out of there. 17 seconds left on the clock. 16, 15, 14, 13. This insane P-Speed music with the star... Nine seconds left on the clock. Eight. Seven. I think he's gonna make it. Damn, he lost that point though. Ouch, man, that's an ouchers. For anyone wondering, Teeks has a faster warpless PB than Haxer. All right, he's going up. All right. Here we go, Teeks. Teeks, you need to redeem that 1.5 right here. You gotta redeem it. Clips three and four, buddy. Oh, no! All right, here we go. Clips three and four. One! Oh, he got it! Wow, he's gotta be mad at himself, man. Right? He could have four points right now. He's gotta be mad, bro. He could have four points right now, but he doesn't. Yeah, you don't have the music box. The World 5 kind of screwed him over a little bit. You better not take damage. Okay, as long as he doesn't take damage. All right. <sighs> All right, hacks are doing the D leg strat. Sorry, we haven't focused on hacks are much because he's kind of just on airships and auto scrollers right now. All right, Teeks is out of there. Ladies and gentlemen. I have some bad news for you guys. It looks like we might not be going to a game three. The points are way, way too stacked. However, I will ask the players if they would like to go to a game three. Wait, did Haxler just get a Rangless again? No, he didn't get Rangless. I don't think he got Rangless. All right, they're both on auto scroll, so I can open up chat again. How do you guys feel? Um, you, 
game one, Teeks did really well. Game two has been very questionable uh, for Teeks. I think I think his mind has maybe got to him. We don't know though. We don't know. Maybe we go. Maybe if we go to a game three, Teeks will bomb out like twenty points or some crap, right? This was kind of why I made some of the points that I did. So we'll see. It's up to the runners. It's up to the runners. If they want to play a game three, they get a game three. They don't need a game. I don't know if they're going to need a game three here. All right. Haxer's chance. I'm going to close chat. Haxer's chance up to the hands. Let's see how Haxer does against his hands. It's been a long time since Haxer's gotten no hands before. So we'll see. Yes. So one of the things I'm worried about is Teeks uh, not beating, not finishing in an hour. Because of that 7-7. Seven, seven. All right. Hand one for Haxer. Nice Teeks. All right. So Teeks is in world eight. Haxer doesn't get no hands. Teeks has the chance to bring in a lot of points here. And Haxer getting pulled in by multiple hands is really good. I don't think he can get sub 54 anymore. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Haxer with the splice right there on his stream. We saw it. We saw it. All right, he gets two hands, enters the airship pretty much at 48 minutes. I don't know if 54 is possible for Haxer. And if 54 is not possible, I don't know if sub one hour is possible for Teeks. So Teeks has got to get some points here. If Teeks gets a lot of points here and Haxer has some questionable mistakes here, then we will for sure be going to game three. What the heck, Teeks? Teeks just lost an, an additional one point right there for uh, taking damage. So Teeks can no longer get Rangless anymore either. And he lost the Fire Flower, unfortunately. All right, Haxer's up for 8-1 here. I'm not sure why there is a strategy to duck under the flame there. Oh! Haxer with the flip-flops, not getting P-Speed the way he wanted, but he's looking pretty clean here. All right, he's looking safe. He made it through. 8-1 is very scary. Very, very scary, you guys. I'm scared of it. All right, Haxer, pro strats, sand of shame. I love it. Hey, man, A2 is pretty stressful. There's really no reason to have that stress. All right, he couldn't have got Wrangless anyways, but Teek still is losing that unfortunate one point here. All right, nails the A2. Boom, he's gone. All right, Teeks is going to go for the troll fire flower. He gets it. Nice job, dude. Nice job, man. That's a very difficult power-up to get. I don't care who you are. It's always hard. All right, Haxer in the fortress. Has not taken any damage yet. However, he's not gotten any world 8 points yet. Not on Haxer's side. No Wrangless, no hands. He can get elevator clip still. Alright, not taking a death, not taking damage. Not missing first cycle, that's very good. You, you uh, I mean, in vanilla, you don't really miss first cycle all that often. Uh, it's, it's really difficult, so we'll see. Yeah, Teeks can still get no hands. Yeah, Teeks isn't doing too bad. I think I think he has a, he, he's got he has time to finish in under an hour. He's good. 
He won't get penalized for it. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, come on. No hands, Teeks. Right here. Get those points. First hand. Lame hand. First hand should be called garbage hand. Oh, got pulled in by the garbage hand. Here we go. 99.9% .9 chance. Two hands. Haxer got the same thing. Haxer got two hands as well, so no no time difference there. Ooh, watch out, Teeks! Look at the fish! Alright, he's good. Nice. He got a good fish pattern, so he's safe. Alright, hacks are gonna wreck the boom boom here with the two, four, five. Easy. Get the heck out of here. Nice. Teeks is on the Air Force now. Very, very nice. Good job. Teeks aside. Alright, does Haxer get elevator clip? Let's see. First try or bust. Oh man, that's two races in a row. He doesn't get it. What a ripoff. That's gonna hurt his average points. It's gonna hurt his average points. That's okay. Oh, he gets that clip though. Unfortunately, though, that clip is not. Clip is not. And the points. Axe are not taking a death or anything. He's looking pretty safe. All right, here we go. He's got the Bowser. Looking like he's got a sub 54 again. All right, he gets the Bowser kill. Look at that. So unfortunately, no points here. Uh, what is his time, though? Haxer's time is a 53-32. Uh, oh, 53-33. Yes. 53-33. All right. He gets the original power-up. First place, 60-54. Another 12-point game for Haxer right there. Absolutely incredible. 12 points right there. All right, so Teeks made it through. It looks like 8-1, and now Teeks is going to have to smash his way through 8-2. Does he take the sand? He's not taking the sand. He's saying, you know what? I'm done with the sand. I don't think he ever really took the sand. All right, looking good. Nice. Clean, clean work right there. He jumps at the cloud for safety, and he's good. He does not have a cloud, so he does have to do the fortress. Does not have a cloud, so he does have to do the fortress. That last jump is always so scary. <laughs> oh no! He jumped a little too early on the conveyor belt there and takes the death. Oh no! He already lost his power-up, so he didn't lose his, like, original power-up. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. There you go. He's trying to get early P-Speed, and he short-hopped it. And unfortunately, he didn't get the early P-Speed uh, from it. <laughs> Alright. So he should be in line for Cycle 1. Uh, Haxer didn't use the star. Haxer didn't use the star. Alright. So it looks like Teeks is actually gonna do sub-60, which is good. I was worried. I didn't want to see him actually take that punishment. I didn't want to see him take that punishment. So he will- he will be able to get second place, obviously. Sub-60. And maybe Elevator Clip. We've seen Elevator Clip win races in this tournament.
Points are looking good. He's doing the, uh, the patented hold forward and do nothing else in this auto scroller. Makes it a dream. Makes it an absolute dream. All right, come on, Teeks. Get the mid clip. We need the elevator clip, man. We need to get you some points. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, his timer shifted, apparently. Has this timer been like that the whole time? Oh, he gets it! Woo! Nice, man. He gets some points back. I think he clicked on his timer and moved it. That's okay, though. Nice. Here he goes, man. Come on. Yeah, Bowser. So he is going to get some points here. All right. So first and foremost, we need to see what Teeks' time is going to be first. All right. Double shot. Nice. Looking good. You're going down, Bowser. Nice, man. All right. So Teeks is looking like he's going to have a 50... It's looking like a 5802. Oh, th oh, three, oh, four. Oh, th I was like a 5804. All right, so he got sub 60 and second place with five points. So let's see what we got here. So, uh, hold on one sec. It looks like we're at 20. We're at 11. What's the difference here? All right, they're ready. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Go! Woo! All right, here we go. All right, slight delay here. All right, Teeks versus Haxer. Game three. Let me write that down. The game three of three. So let's go. All right, I told them, shake it off, guys. Shake it off. Last game, Haxer finally did 1-1 one, one the way he wanted to. Look at that, man. Absolutely incredible. All right, neither of them have used an inventory star, and neither of them have died yet. The initial 1.5 right there, baby. All right, here we go. Dude, miracles, man. A miracle. Right? 24 versus 11. This is crazy. So first thing we're gonna look for, first thing we're gonna look for is the MFP tunnel. We wanna see the MFP tunnel happen in world one. If that happens, they are issued 0.5 Haxer, avoiding the orb. Teeks doing the orb jump, man. He's so ruthless in this fortress. He needed that to save a little bit of time. Teeks has been losing time pretty much based on the fact that the Hammer Brother movements. And it looks like Teeks' screen is actually messed up. And I don't know why his screen randomly got messed up. Let me fix it here. Why did it do that? It was so strange. I'm fixing it right now, though, guys. There we go. All right, Teeks going for the tunnel. Does he get the tunnel? Oh, he doesn't. He takes damage. Too big of a turn back. Does Haxer get the tunnel, though? Oh, neither of them get the tunnel. That is unfortunate. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see it. Yeah, I think Teeks has, like, moved his screen or something. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but yeah. 
All right, he's gonna get the extra power up and then he is good to go. He is out of there. Haxer missed his fly in the fortress, which caused him a lot of time. Which makes it so that uh, Teak's taking that damage there is not that big of a deal. Really, really good. All right, Haxer with the 15 coins. All right. Teeks with the decent RNG. They're both looking like they have pretty decent RNG right now. It's looking pretty good. All right, looking good. Uh, let me post in chat for game one and game two here for you guys. Just so you can see. Right there. That's game one and game two for you. You young lads. All right, so Teeks was on a mission. Teeks had to get every single point. <laughs> and... <sighs> Going crazy. Uh, hold on a sec here. It's looking like Teeks' timer might be a little cut off. It's not my fault. I don't know what happened to the timer, so I'm going to extend it a little bit. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Kind of lower it. All right. He gets his first, first power up right here. Remember, both these players are walking away with money tonight, which is awesome. Walking away with cash prize tonight. So it's looking good. All right, standard fire kill right here. Nice. All right, Teeks gets it. Haxer. Haxer also gets standard fire kill. Right on. Looking good. All right, these guys are tied up right now. Looks like Teeks is ahead on time. Not bad. Haxer's been getting a lot of really bad World 1s, it seems. Uh, uh, Teeks has gotten some pretty bad RNG in World 1. But yeah, man, it's been it's been uh, a crazy show right now. So far in the last two races. It's, it's been really, really good. <gasps> okay, here we go. 2-1. I had to put on the dramatic effect for you guys. All right, 2-1. Everyone's done great work with 2-1. It looks like Teeks is ahead by a good solid four or five seconds, almost. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, wow, he hits the corner clip. That's going to lose him a little bit of time here. Axel does not get corner clip. All right, looks like they both made really good work. All right, so Teeks is one, two, three, four. A little under five seconds ahead of Haxer. They both got two upper... Uh, two separate cards. And Teeks gets the good RNG with the Hammer Brother moving left. Haxer also gets the exact same RNG. You love to see it. All right, next point right here, Teeks. Come on. 297, 296. 295, 294. See, Teeks runs along there and he loses his chance. Haxer falls into the mode of tears. Wow. Very unfortunate. That, that's going to lose Haxer a little bit more time falling in the mode of tears. That is okay. So they still have one more point they can get in this world is a 221 fire kill. Teeks with really good RNG right there. Haxer gets annoying RNG. I don't want to say that's good or bad. That's just an annoying form of RNG. All right. They both get bottom P speed. That's really, really good for them. All right. Here we go. Looking strong. Haxer following very closely behind him. Nice. Teeks with the P-Speed. Keeps it. No damage, right? Not like last race. It's unfortunate. Teeks' best race so far is his third race. S happens, though. Man, I've been there. I've been there. I've lost tournaments before, too. All right. He's going to go for the music box. I don't think he wants music box shenanigans like last time. I really don't think we do. Does Haxer get post 2-3 early hammer? You'd love to see it. All right, making good work. We got two three. Two three is a, a pretty standard level. It can be pretty stressful. Hacks are almost slipping slides out of there. Teeks, woo! Very scary, man. Very freaking scary. All right, Teeks is safe. All right, Hacks are actually almost took damage there. Very close to eight. Does not get post two three. He is going to skip the Hammer Brothers. So Teeks is actually behind by a little bit, having to get the music box. All right. So Teeks is in a very weird situation. The Hammer Brothers in the bottom right corner. Does he go for level four or does he go look for level five? It all depends on what the Hammer Brother does. If the Hammer Brother moves left, dude, he is in a really good position. He just go down to level five. He's safe. Get the Hammer and he'll have a good fire kill for the boss. Haxer, uh, 
Haxer has that good RNG. That is really good. So Haxer is safe for not only movements of one, but he's going to have a good fire kill. So you love to see it. And Teeks is in a questionable situation. We don't know exactly what's going to happen here uh, with his with his hammer brother. Uh, hopefully the hammer brother actually just stays inside there and doesn't move up past the uh, pyramid. You don't want that to happen. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, Haxer's getting a really good world too right now. Uh, that Hammer Brother moving back on that middle tile and allowing him to screen change over him is is so clutch. And Teeks gets the worst pattern you could possibly ask for. However, through my experience of doing Warpless, I know that the pattern Teeks is going to get is the 100% pattern. And I think he knows that too. Who misses his jump, but he did spawn the beetle. So he's going to have to wait. As you can see, he has made that mistake before. I don't blame him, man. I've seen that. I've seen those mistakes before. We all have. Happens. Nice. They both make a clean pyramid getaway. Nice. All right. He's getting out of there. Boom. Unfortunately, he is going to have to go up and get that hammer brother. Oh, the hammer brother moved backwards, though. So the boomerang is going to be on the screen a shorter amount of time. That's pretty good. That's a little time save, actually. Indeed. Uh, I think he was doing that to manipulate the boss pattern. I think he was doing that to manipulate the boss pattern. That's right. Yes, he was doing that. Uh, for any of you guys wondering, I am Mitch Flower Power doing the commentary. I am the creator and the hoster of this uh, whole tournament. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am the... I am the giant Mario 3 speedrunner who's at every, like, GDQ and all that. And all that she has. So make sure you give me a follow... Mitch Flower Power, make sure you give the Haxer a follow. He also runs SMB3. Make sure you give Teeks a follow. He also runs SMB3. Just give all three of us a follow, and we'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah, the giant MFP, that's right. Yeah, you come, you come to my stream when you want to see Mario 3 World Records. All right, 221 or higher on the timer. Haxer does get it. And he goes through the off-screen wand grab, but he doesn't get it. But Haxer does get the proper timing. Come on, Teeks. Anything but to drop you. Anything to drop you. Come on, Teeks. Oh, he's not going to get it. He had the 100% pattern from his position, but I guess he, he had forgotten. Not going to get that point. You ate to see it. Let's spam it in chat, everyone. You ate to see it. Woo! Let's go. All right, so coming up next on Haxer's side is the single frame jump at the start of the level. Is he going to get it? Ah, oh, he gets it! Right on! Congratulations to the Haxer for the single frame jump. I think Haxer's trying to go for the 26-point game here. Holy crap! That's incredible, man. He went from not getting it, and now he got it in two games. All right, Teeks, you need to get this to, to stay in. Come on. Let's go. No! Oh, Teeks does not get it, unfortunately. It just might not be his day. Let's switch over to Haxer's audio here. Switch over to Haxer's audio. Next trick. Ooh. Oh, man. Fast 3-2, dude. So scary. I got to be quiet and watch. It's so scary. All right, he does not take damage, and he's going to get the insta-build. Right on. All right, Teeks. Come on, Teeks. It's your turn. Don't mess this up. You got it. You've gotten it bo both races. Come on for a third. Yeah, nice job. Nice. And Haxer seems like he's pretty safe right now for Runaway Bro, so we're looking, we're looking pretty good here. All right, Teeks is in somewhat of a little bit of a scare right now with the runaway bro. Looking pretty hot. All right, Haxer's, Haxer is in the clear for runaway bro. Six games and not a single runaway bro so far. Let's go, man. This is some good matches. All right, Haxer's going to go for door three. 
Is he gonna get it? He got door three, I think. Ooh, almost took damage there. Teeks is very close to runaway. Does he get door three right now? He does not get door three. You hate to see it. Haxor has not gotten door three yet today. That is very annoying. Does Teeks get runaway, bro? He does not get runaway, bro. Not yet, at least. All right, Teeks is turn for door three. If Teeks gets door three, he is going to catch up a good amount right here. Does he get it? He does not get door three. He needed door three so bad. Oh, man. He would have caught up hardcore right there. All right, Haxor's finished the level. Haxor is in the clear for runaway, bro. He does not have to worry about runaway, bro. Very, very good. Peace be strat. Is Teeks gonna get scared? No, he doesn't have to worry about it either. But he is gonna have to do a water battle. Not too bad. Makes good work of it. Water battles are longer because the Hammer Brothers float through the water instead of just falling off the screen very fast. The chest won't appear until the Hammer Brothers and everything are off the screen. Then the chest appears on the opposite side that Mario's on. Those very annoying battles. All right, Teeks also without Runaway Bro. Which means they're very close to each other in terms of time. However, Haxer has secured one extra point on top of Teeks. They both have their original power up though, so it's anyone's game at this point. Alright. Teeks is about three quarters of a level behind so far. No one's got any fanfares and no one's got any coin ships. Looking pretty good. Axe has got to go with the H jump here. Teeks not going to get a fanfare, right? Oh, dude, I was nervous. Only me. Oh! Right on, dude. The, the backup the backup H jump. Really good. In that situation, that backup's fairly easy because you, you haven't really lost much of your reserve P-speed, so it's pretty good. It's the music note that is the worst part of it. Nice. Both making very good work. Woo! Looking good, man. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Freaking killing it, you guys. Nice. They're both on the airship. Is Teeks going for all the stops, though? Is Teeks going to go for Wendy? Is he going to go for ass? Is he going to go for Jesus? Is he going to go for not taking damage? What do you guys think he's going to do, man? Right, if Haxer dies somehow, Haxer loses 1.5 points, right? Haxer has one point. Teeks, Teeks somehow, he's got to make up 13. You never know how these matches go, right? We could really treat this like... Like actual sports if we were like, oh, they do two games on Monday, then they do two games on Thursday, then they do two games the next next Monday, you know what I mean? Or something like that. But that would extend. That would extend. We were able to finish this entire tournament in one month. That's a milestone in tournaments. Alright, Haxer's going first. He's definitely not going for the Wendy point. Is Teeks gonna go for the Wendy point, though? If he takes damage, though, that'll hurt him. I don't think he's gonna want to. But if he doesn't go for Wendy, he probably is not gonna go for the Jesus clip, either. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Nope, not going for it. Makes sense. So the thing that I was thinking the most with, with this race three is that, uh, is Teeks has nothing to lose to go going for absolutely everything. So, very exciting. Alright, World 4. Alright, are we going to see a fast 4-1? Fast 4-1 from Haxer side. Looking pretty good. Does a little screech. Boom, gets it. Teeks his turn now. When the person in first does all the fast strategies... It, um, it makes it really hard for the person in second because the only way to catch up is to follow. 
Looking good. Teeks nails it too. I love how there's like five different ways to do fast 4 1. There's so many different ways. It's crazy. It's crazy time. Yeah, crazy time. All right, making good work of 4 2, doing the despawn strat by killing the second turtle. You can see on Teeks' screen, uh, unless he doesn't do the turtle kill. He does, yep. You kill that red turtle to despawn that piranha plant, and it's. I don't know why it works. I think because the, the shell floats in the water. Alright, Haxer is in a very, very bad situation right here with RNG. So let's see how this is going to work out for him. Alright, Teeks has got the good RNG, right? He gets to kill... He gets to fight the... Right away, right? Alright. Let's see what happens here, Haxer. If these Hammer Brothers switch on Haxer's side, that is very frustrating. Let's see what happens. Nope, he got lucky. Oh, Haxer's going for the ass point? What? Alright, let's see if he does it. Looking good! Haxer with the ass point! Making it even harder for Teeks. Wow! Getting the ass point right on. Dude, he has the hammer, doesn't he? <gasps> he just lost the ass point. Alright, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, Teeks doing the ass point! No! <laughs> That was gonna be so clutch. Poor Teeks, man. That was it. He had it and he took the damage too, which means the potential of the three extra points are gone. That is a massive. You hate to see a moment. And it looks like he just got screwed over by the star. Yep, that is a loss of points right there. All right, Haxer, is he gonna get screwed over here? This is the P-Speed Haxer getting screwed over as well. That ass point for Haxer is gone. Yep. Lame. That is a lame hate to see it. He's going to go for the P-Wing though, right? Nope. He's going to go for the Boxless. All right, Teeks doing a very nice job there getting through. As long as... with That, that mistake is really hard. Uh, because you don't know where the spinies are going to be thrown. So Teeks made it work, which is good. It's really tough. Alright, Teeks is... He already fought the star. I don't know if he's going to go for the... Oh, he didn't wait. Ooh, you have to wait at the beginning of that level when you don't have Fire Flower. But looks like he made it work. Alright, looking good. Alright, Haxer is going to get the... P-Wing looking good. Ooh, I thought Teeks was dead there in that pit. It looks like he's doing pretty good, though. All right, Fortress time. I'm gonna go for that P-Speed. Looking clean, looking clutch. Nice. All right, getting the P-Wing. Haxor also has the P-Wing, so Teeks is about a level behind. However, he has unfortunately taken damage. Unshmorshmalishly. Don't forget that fire flower. We need that. All right, he's got it. Right on. All right, longest airship, which means I can hang out with chat for a little bit. How's it going, chat? That sounded like Mitch. It is me. I am here. What is up? What is up, everyone? I'm Mitch Cauliflower Power. Dude, the quality of that emote too is crazy. The ass point is getting a 288 in that fortress. But it looks like it says ass, doesn't it? Right here, it looks like it says ass, right? So we called it the ass point like halfway through the tournament. Mitch Flower Power, me is the commentary. 
Yes. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to let everyone know that to enter this cash prize tournament with points, all you have to do to qualify is get under one hour in Warpless. That's it. And the next season is going to be at least five months from now. So you have lots of time to practice. And if you don't get under an hour for season two, there's going to be a season three. Okay? It's going to be a season three. And then after season three, there's going to be a season four. The points are going to change a lot. If you are interested in speedrunning, if you're interested in trying to make money from speeding, from speedrunning, uh, this is the way to do it. You cannot earn any money speedrunning any other game, unfortunately, except this. This is the only way to actually generate revenue and have an, a legitimate chance. Because, I mean, if it was just speedrunning and, like, I was in the tournament, it'd be a little uncomfortable, wouldn't it? A lot of people would just assume that you're not going to win if, like, the world's best are in it. But in a tournament like this, as you guys clearly see, uh, the points changing all the time is what makes it very interesting. Not No one can, like, become way better than other people, so it's really good. What kind of speeding are we talking about? All right, Teeks, come on. Teeks' turn at the boss. Hopefully he gets it. Oh! Up. Oh! The jump, dude! I've seen that mistake happen over and over and over again. I've seen it too many times. Yeah, it happens. All right, chat. See you guys on the other side. All right, hacks are in 5-1. Here we go. They both lost the star point. That's crazy. Look at the points difference right now, though. It's like nothing. Hacks are going all out for speed and everything. He's not taking no chances. I don't even know if he cares if he takes damage or not. Going for all the speed speedlings. All right. No movement of four. All right. Teeks is going to be entering world five in no time. Looking good, Teeks. Is he going to get the leaf? No. Oh. All right. Teeks making his way through. Looking good. Looking good. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that was... Oh, that sounded like a movement of four on Haxer's side. Is he going to use a music box here? He is going to use a music box here. So we are going to see if Haxer did actually get a movement of four. Very important. Luckily for Teeks' side, in Warpless, losing your Fire Flower is not that bad. It's not a huge deal. Max getting the fire kill, missing one of his fireballs, or maybe even an A-press. Something happened there, though. Something happened there. It's looking good, though. All right, Hammer Brothers asleep. Teeks not getting movement of four. Is Teeks going to put his Hammer Brothers to sleep? Hopefully, because he already fought the World 4 bros. Yes, there you go. All right, a little inventory flopping around, but that's okay. Right on, dude. Looking good, looking hot. Twisty castle time. Losing his P-Speed. This is going to be questionable right here. Alright, never mind. Looking good. Yeah, you never know. When you lose P-Speed in the Twisty castle, you never know exactly how it's going to play out. Sometimes it can jubate you. Sometimes it's... Sometimes it rebuilds super fast, too. You never know. Alright. Now we get a good look to see if Haxo did get a movement of four. And he did get a movement of four, so he does not get that point. That Hammer Brother cannot be there unless you get a movement of four, so pretty good. Nice. Teek's doing really good work with the Twisty Castle with what he's got, and then Haxer has done very nice. He got the frame perfect jump out of the pipe in 5-4. Gave him 77. No coin ship, though, unfortunately. Doesn't want a coin ship, though. Alright, Ham Brother moves out with that movement of 4. Looking pretty good. Alright, now he wants to get P-Speed here. Nice. Gets P-Speed with a big turn back, though. Still works, though. That was a heavy, heavy turn back. He still made it work, though. Alright, Teeks' his turn at 5-4 here. Let's see how he does. This level's very scary. I remember in the early stages of speedrunning this game, when the world record was like 56, 55, and 54, this level was always a run killer. But now we have this consistency strats down. Teeks shows them off right there. 
Max are making really good work of 5-7. Once you get the initial P speed, a lot of the jumps really line up with each other. Haxer, or sorry, Teeks, still not getting a movement of 4, though. Oh, the extra turn back, but that's okay. Because he's already taking damage. I want to see Teeks go for Jesus Clip and get it. Haxer is getting trolled by movements of 4. It's actually kind of funny. Teeks with the wall rubs. Looking good, though. I want to see Teeks get Jesus Clip because he deserves Jesus Clip. Goes for it three times. Oh, he gets a movement of four, so he's not going to get that extra point. But I want to see him go for Jesus Clip here. Nice, dude. Very nice backup fire flower grab. Very, very nice. All right, come on, Jesus Clip. Let's go. Hax is going to get the music box here. Uh, he didn't get trolled with that movement of four, which is actually pretty good. All right, Teeks. Now's your time to shine, man. We need this. Come on. He might not go for it because he's just tired of it, which I don't blame him, but I want him to go for it. Come on, bud. Nice. Come on, Jesus Clip. He takes the death and he loses it. Net zero points. I can't believe he didn't get Jesus Clip three times in a row tonight. Remember that one guy who said that Jesus Clip ruins this category? It breaks it? Well... He tried three times and didn't get it, so Jesus Clip did not control these races. What the? Ah! <laughs> Haxer accidentally used. Oh, that was hilarious, dude. He accidentally used this music box, thought it was the cloud, tried to move, realized it wasn't. Now he had to use the cloud, and also Haxer doesn't have the music box for the Piranha Plant stage, just like Teeks in last run. You hate to see it. Haxer pulling a huge Teeksor right there. The Teeksor moment. They both did it. So now it's officially the Teeksor strat. Haxer and Teeks both did it. That is hilarious. Yeah, that is, uh, that's the kind of strategy that you definitely hate to see in a run. Teeks, using the correct item. However, he's not going to be able to get his Fire Flower back in uh, this situation, so... And I don't think there's a power-up in this uh, airship. Uh, or sorry, I mean uh, the Hammer Brother battle, so... He's going to have to go for the Stomp Kill. Alright, they're both on the airship. Hacks are going for the first one. No idea what the pattern is because of the flip-flops on the overworld. Ooh, goes to the Oscar one grab, does not get it. Axer's very close to claim the three. Neither of them acquire any world five points, unfortunately, but Haxer is on his way to get the additional three points from keeping the original power up. So as long as Haxer doesn't accidentally use a war, uh, P wing, or take damage on the Hammer Brother battle, he will get these points. Oh, Teeks bouncing off bullets! Whoa, that was crazy! Nice job on Teeks' side. That was awesome. Oh, Haxer going back inside the pipe to activate the Hammer Brothers, which is good. That was a good strategy. They were asleep, so he needed to waste the turn. Makes a sense. Nice, Teeks. Right on, Haxer gets his three points. He is at a 5.5 right now. Nice. He does not get the most optimal star grab, unfortunately, but he knows to wait. He's definitely made that mistake before. We've all made that mistake before. And you really, really hate to see it. All right, Teeks' his turn now. He uses his hammer. As long as he doesn't take damage here, he does not have to do the shame. The shame evader. Axer got an early speed speed. Axer dies with the early P speed. 
loses 1.5 points right there. Wow, see, it can happen. Holy crap, that just happened. Holy. Very nice. For Teats there. Oh! Right on, man. This game is so awesome. If they marathon again after this level for Haxer, it's going to be much harder for them to break up. Much harder. Because he's eliminating one of the three-way paths. All right, Teeks' chance at level four. Here we go, Haxer again. The double despawn creating a little too much lag there. Teeks not getting the early P-Speed. That's okay, because it didn't cause him to die. Right on. There it is. Ah, what a turn. Yep, what did I just say? <laughs> so stupid. But he does get... He does have to... He does get lucky and he doesn't have to fight the extra hammer brother with a double marathon. Unfortunately, Teeks does have to fight the extra hammer brothers. That is big hate to see at moments, man. Big hate to see it. Double hate to see. You you never like to see it, is how much you hate to see it. Incredible. All right, Teeks using his preemptive P-Wing. Look pretty good. Gonna go for the despawn. Don't give me that look, chat. MFP DPU. All right, Teeks going for his despawn strats. Nice, looking good. Looking good. All right, Haxer gets a good block grab there. That's probably the hardest part of the level. Everything else is pretty easy. The jumps all line up with full big jumps. Takes the intentional... Oh, he wanted to take the intentional damage. What the heck? That P-Speed! All right, all right. He's back in control again. He's back in control. He is back in control. Teeks slowly catching up, though. Haxer with those movements of one. All right. Wall jump first try. Here we go, Haxer. Let's go! Jumped a little too early there. Nice, gets the second try. However, you do not get points for doing it second try. But the bikini babes down. You might be able to get a first try. All right, Teeks' turn now. Teeks is gonna go, gets the grab. Nice, really good. He's gonna take the intentional damage while Haxer is gonna enter the fortress. Teeks makes the H jump. Nice, Haxer watches out for the orbs. Teeks takes the intentional damage. Haxer gets the mushroom. He wants to go for four clip. No body rubs here. He's going to go for it. Does he get it? This will be incredible. <sighs> not even close. <laughs> Every single time I'm like, oh, I thought he was going to get it, but not that time. All right, Teeks, come on. Wall jump first try. Oh, he got the pixel. He missed his input. Dang, Teeks' pressing game is not on today. Nice. He gets the third try, though. Nails it. As long as he gets the third try, he's pretty good. Moving to one there, and he is out of there. All right, Teeks' turn now to try and get an additional 1.5 points. Here we go. Let's see what happens. My my cursor's on the trigger. It's right here. I'm ready. We've seen this fortress clip once this tournament so far. Little too big of a jump there, unfortunately. Dum 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 dum. All right, they're both on the airship. That means I can unlock chat and open it. What's going on, chat? How are you guys doing? Did you enjoy World 7? And by World 7, I mean 6. Hope you guys are enjoying Game 3. Ooh! <sighs> Loved World 7. All right, since we have time, I can give you guys the good one. Let's see if it works. Come on, guys. <laughs> there you go. You guys happy? <laughs> I 
All right, here we go. Haxer is going to move one pixel to the right. Get a low subpixel value. Move one pixel to the left. Get a high subpixel value. Set up for subpixel minips. Moved one pixel to the right. He did not get one pixel to the left. He, he has to do a duck jump clip. So let's really hope he doesn't accidentally go into the level. All right, I had a little talk with with Teeks during intermission. I told him, make sure that Mario moves one pixel to the right. Mario can move his feet, but not move one pixel to the right. Those are That's called moving sub-pixels. Mario's feet can move, but he doesn't actually move a pixel on the ground. I told him, I smash my face into the TV when I try and do it. All right, Haxer, first try. Does he get it? He does not get a first try. Teeks' his turn now. I don't know what Teeks did there. Yeah, all he did was turn around. So hopefully Teeks, by default, is on a high subpixel value. We really hope. Come on, Teeks. Haxer did not get a first try, but it did look like he got a third try. No first try for you. All right, he's gonna go for seven two. He's taking the long, the long route in his inventory. Been there, done that. Love to see it. Takes a damage boost. Does not have to worry about the gap here. Boom, right in the pipe. He's good to go. All right, Teeks. Here it is. 7-1. Get out of the negatives. He does not get it, unfortunately. He gets a third try as well, though. He's not far behind from Haxer, so it's the 7-7 thing. And uh, I feel like Haxer is going to go for 7-7 because he knows he's probably not going to lose the tournament here. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, looking good. Deeks is going to use his P-Wing as well. Nice, very well done with Teeks. His P-Wing game is getting better as every time he does that level with the P-Wing, it gets better and better. It's looking good. Nice pipe entry. Axe is going to use a cloud. Oh my god, that cloud inventory strats. I've never seen any cloud inventory strats. No, I'm just kidding. Right on. Now he's going to equip this P-Wing. The fastest lightning fast P-Wing equip I've ever seen in my life. Nice. All right, here we go. Looking good. Teeks is going to do 7-3 now. Nice. Hax is going to move one pixel to the right. Yeah, he's... I don't know about his sub-pixel. Uh, I think it's random at this point. The, the first time he moved, it was hard to tell if he actually moved or not. Oh, Teeks taking damage there. What in the actual heck? All right, Haxer, first try, 7-6. Let's go. And he gets it right on with a 4.5. He's definitely going to go for 7-7 seven, seven, though, right? Uh, Teeks with the perfect inventory equipped. You'll love to see it. All right, here we go. Equip that P-Wing. Damn, man, this is some sexy P-Wing equips. I love it. There's no way he's not, not going to go for 7-7, seven, seven, right? He enters it, but is he going to go in the pipe? Let's find out. Nah, I knew he'd go for it. All right. If he gets it, like, first or third try, that, that's that's annoying because he needs it in his speedruns. Oh, that sucks. All right, Teeks' turn. Come on, Teeks. Teeks has, hasn't acquired any points. He's only lost points. Come on, buddy. Game three was not supposed to make you go down. No, oh, Teeks, no. Ah, oh, they both get it like at the same time. That was hilarious. Haxer with the 7-7. Seven, seven. He, he, luckily, he didn't have to spend too much time on it. So that's pretty good. All right, Hax is using the extra P-Wing. So he's going to go for clip three and four, and then he's going to have to backtrack. All right, Teeks, do not jump out of this, please. All right, now while Teeks is doing his 7-7, seven, seven, we got Haxer. As long as he doesn't take damage here, he's good. All right, Hax is going to go for clip three and four. Here we go. Three and four, bud. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> That's a whatever moment. All right, he's going to go for mid-clip. Does not get mid-clip either. Oh, he's going to keep trying for mid-clip. No mid clip yet. Still going for that mid clip. Looks like it's a mid clip 7 7 battle right now. 
He's in too deep. He's got to go until he gets it now. Yeah, he's in too deep. He's got to go for it. There we go. Mid clip done. Ah, oh, man. Teeks, if he would have got 7-7 seven, seven there, that would have been so cool. All right. Teeks getting the bad RNG with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, that's so close, man. Some of these attempts for Teeks are so, so close. Ooh, that was close too. All right. Haxer is probably going to P-Wing. Or sorry. Cloud. And he's got... Yeah, he doesn't have the music box. That's hilarious. Oh! He takes his original damage! You hate to see that. So he is not going to get the World 8 reward right here. For the original power-up from World 7. All right. Teeks is running out of time here. We got to listen to that awesome speed music. I feel like it makes better for this. Ah! Oh, he gets it as soon as I turn on the audio! Teeks is out of the negative game. He is out of the minus game. You love to see it, man. He is out of there. Thank goodness. So he's gonna go for Fire Flower. He doesn't know if he wants to go up or down yet. Alright, make good work of that. Take that, Goombas. See you later. All right, looking good. All right, nice. Boom, boom. All right, here we go. You've done it before, Teeks. Do it again. Ah, got me nervous. Oh, he's going to go for mid-clip, too. Doesn't get it. Ah, he gets a first try right on. Too bad there's no points for mid-clip. There is no points for mid-clip. All right, looks like they're both going to be on the airship. Teeks does not have to worry about music box shenanigans. Oh, I thought he accidentally used the star there. That was scary. That was very... That was very freaking scary. Nice, they're both on the airship at the same time. Now this is what we're talking about versus time. Looking good, looking good. All right, so Haxer unfortunately will not be able to achieve the original power-up points. But Teeks, man, if we look at Teeks' card right now, hurting, man. And he died too. The death got him. Hurting, right? Like, nothing. Where? No tunnel. No jump. No random point. Like, random points didn't help him either. Damn, dude. This was this was supposed to help him here, you know? Yeah, it's looking looking rough. All right, we have a lot of auto scrolls coming up, so I'm I'm with chat. What's going on, chat? How you guys doing? You got the cherry coke? Nice. Yeah, we're having the after party in my stream. So as soon as the tournament's done, we're having the after party in my stream. I will go live on my channel and we can all... We can all after party. Maybe if a lot of us join, maybe I will open up my Mario 3. I haven't opened the box yet. All right, Teeks' his turn now. He's not taking damage. Here we go. So Haxer is going to be the first person to try and get Rangless. How many points can Teeks get? In World 8, though, that's the question. If he gets Rangless, No Hands, Elevator Clip, Original Power Up, and because he got No Hands, he gets First Place and Sub 60, and Haxer gets no points except for that, that's still pretty rough. 
All right, so here we go. Tax is doing some pro D leg strats. Uh, it takes away the legs so far to you really only lag about three to four frames, which is pretty good, I'd say. Which is pretty good, I'd say. Looking pretty good. All right, Haxo, does it get Wrangless? Nope, 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 nope. When the Boomerang Bro moves backwards, you can't get Wrangless, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Haxor is on the Navy, guys. Now's the chance for you to guess what hands do you think are gonna happen? What hands do you guys think are gonna happen? All right, Teeks is making his way through the First tank, which is the longest level in this world. So once you get through the first tank, you are good to go. Not gonna use D-Leg strats. Now you get to see how much it lags. See how much it lags without the D-Leg strat? Which is okay, you don't have to do the D-Leg strat. It's not that much time. It's not gonna really hurt you in, in a tournament format like this. You'll be fine. All right, looking hot, here we go. Does he get Wrangless? Ah, he does not, man. The Boomerang did not cooperate this run. All right, Haxer is on his way to the hands right now. Teeks can catch up a lot if Haxer gets all three hands and Teeks gets no hands. Ooh, Haxer with the weird movement. First hand, he's saying to himself, oh, if I didn't rub that pipe, I probably wouldn't have got that first hand. All right, Teeks is out of there. All right, first hand. And Teeks is making his way through this ship, so does he get second hand? No, but he gets third hand. Wow. All right, Haxer with the three hands. Work. Hand three is the fastest hand. Uh, this airship looks so much faster than the one that's going on on Teeks' side. But it looks like the boat isn't loading properly on Hax's screen. Like, if you look at Teeks's, it looks like it should be loading on his. It looks, it looks silly. All right, he's going for the fire kill. Bingo, bango, looking good. All right, come on, Teeks, no hands right here, man. I'm ready to give you the points. Come on. Ah, oh, hand number three. Dude, you hate to see it. He was so close, man. Dang. Very unfortunate. Damn, dude. That sucks. That's so close. That's so close, man. Crazy. Alright, Hacks are going into 8-1. He slipped up a little bit in the last 8-1, so hopefully he does a little bit better in this one. He did really well in the first one. Oh yeah, he's going for the peace speed. All right, so it looks like game three is his best 8-1. Game two being his worst, game one being his middle grounds. Not too bad, man, not too bad. Teeks getting through the long airship. It's about it's about 49 to 50 something seconds long, I think. I don't actually know the full time. Haxer is not gonna go for the sand, I bet. Yeah, I knew he wasn't. He's going all out for this run. Let's see how it goes. Boom, easy, boom, easy. Double shot, triple shot, he's out of there. Teeks with the destroying boom, boom, fire shots. And now it's Teeks' turn at 8-1 and 8-2 and 8-4. So hopefully he does well. 
They're not too far behind each other. Neither of them have the extra cloud for 8 fort. They're looking pretty good. Nice. Teeks goes for fast P speed. Does not get it. Gets back up P speed though. Looking good. Right on. Axe are doing very nice in the fortress. No mess ups. No little flubs. Alright, Teeks with the 8-2 now. They're very close to each other in this race. This is crazy. Alright, double shot. Triple shot. He's out of there. Jump at the cloud. Boom. Hit the music note. And he is gone. Oh, I don't know how he didn't take damage there. You gotta love hitboxes in this game. Alright, Haxer is now on the last tank brigade. Tank brigade 2. All right, Teeks' turn. The only thing left for either of them in this world is the elevator clip. And that is it. Nice, Teeks making good work as well. Getting through it. He is not worried about that door. He does not have to worry about the door at all. Now it's Teeks' turn to get to the tank for gate 3. And we'll actually see the distance behind they are. Uh, just visually with that. Which would be pretty good. Pretty good to see how far. Look at that. Whee! Alright, so he's, he's about almost the whole auto-scroller behind. So if Haxer like dies or takes damage on Bowser, that will be Teeks' closest opportunity to win this race in time. Uh, to generate the extra points between first and second. All right, Haxer, third try at the elevator clip. You gotta get it, right? <sighs> that elevator clip is not his friend. It looks like he's just, he was memeing for it. He was sick and tired, man. He's mi He missed it every single race. He's like, I'm done with this. All right, making his way through Bowser's castle, looking hot, climbing some stairs. Looking hot, climbing some stairs. Does the donuts. He's going for the P-Speed strategy in this level. Looking pretty good. Don't miss your duck input. Ooh, almost took damage there, but he's fine. He knows. All right, here we go. For the Bowser kill. Nice. Boom, boom, kill. Teeks his side. Very nice. Oh, ooh, that's right. Haxer already took damage, so he didn't have to care. Yeah, he doesn't get that point. All right, Teeks' his turn. Come on, Teeks. Let's get mid clip for Teeks. While it's also trying to pay attention to Haxer's time of a 55. Teeks gets it! 55-24! Right on Teeks! 55-24 on Haxer's side with first place sub 60. That is it. Eight total points. 8.5, sorry. All right, Teeks' turn now at P-Speed. He gets it. Nice, gets the Bowser kill. So that means Teeks gets second place, original power up, and sub 60. So Teeks' points are four. Teeks' time is a 56 14. Yo, GG guys. GG guys. That means that the SMB3 Warpless Point System Tournament is the winner. Who is it gonna be? It's too hard. Can't tell. Crunching the numbers right now. The winner of the Point System Tournament is... The Haxer. The Haxer is the winner. 
of the point system tournament. Congratulations to the Axer. $500 cash prize. Fantastic. Teeks also walks away with a $200 cash prize. All funded by me. All created by me. I am your host, Mitch Flower Power. I hope you guys enjoyed the SMB3 Warpless Point System Tournament. It's been a wacky ride. It's been... We did it. We were able to do it in one month, which was the goal. It is the third today, and we started the third last month. So we pretty much did it in a month, which is fantastic. Season 2 is going to be in the fall. Follow me on twitch.tv slash MitchFlowerPower if you guys want to stay up to date with when the tournament is going to go live for Season 2. And if you have any questions on signing up for the tournament to win some cash prize for Super Mario Bros. 3, don't forget to hit me up. You can ask me any questions you guys want. All you need is under 60 minutes in Warpless if you want to join this tournament. Right on, guys. Yes, we are going to have an, a, a slight little after party back in my stream where we can hang out and the runners can talk about... Uh, whatever it is that they want to talk about and uh, I can answer all your guys questions for a whole bunch of things But you can't ask me questions unless you go to my channel. All right So that is it we are gonna go head over to Mitch flower power uh, We're gonna do that I'll let them know we heading over All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go head over to Mitch Flower Power. That's my channel, and I'll see you guys over there. <laughs>